Yeah, turn one, man, just go. Ah! Whoa. Press any button to start. Well, that's a big mouse. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Boop, boop, beep, boop, beep. Okay, um, what does continue mean if I haven't played yet? <laughs> it doesn't do anything. Do I have to? <laughs> what am I continuing? <laughs> What did I, I just want to see what would happen. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Perhaps you have forgotten how this game is played. What's happening? Wait, is did I do anything wrong or is this fine? <laughs> I have not played this game before. I've never... Seen it or downloaded it. You're playing the game correctly. Okay, hold on. Options. Is there anything I... Is there any reason I shouldn't go into options? Oh, how, I have to, like, play the card. There we go. I have to, like, play the card to go into options. Okay. Mm, dialogue, text, speed. Is there... Uh, options is safe. Okay. Is there any options I should change? Or are we good? Looks fine so far, right? So everything is cards. I like that. Why do I? Okay, you can like slide that alter deck. Can't do that. Da, 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 da. Whoa, what if I want to? I could go back to the start screen. Oh, new game isn't even an option. Um, play the squirrel card. Okay, so I can like select the different stoat. What's a stoat? So I have wolves, stoats, and squirrels. I'm gonna play the squirrel, but can I play it in many places? I can play it in any of these four places. Let's play it there. Boom, it's a squirrel. A stoat? Is Carl <laughs> is a water weasel? Wait, now play your stoat. Stoat is that S for stoat? No. <laughs> stoat. How do I get my hand? Okay, stoat. I. Stoat costs one blood. Sacrifices must be made. Uh... Ah no! I hate it. Don't sacrifice my squirrel. An honorable death. Play the stoat. Uh, okay, a wolf requires two sacrifices. You don't have enough. What is this? Ring the bell to end your turn and commence combat. Okay, I have a stoat. Your stoat stands unopposed. Number on the bottom left is the attack power one. The stoat dealt one damage. I added to the scale. Okay, so that's the damage is the scale. Uh, you win if you tip my side all the way down. That makes sense. Like this. My turn. Coyote. Ah! My stout! Health is two less. Doesn't that mean the stout dies? Reach health, which is zero, dies. Or did it already have three and then it took two off of it? Okay, it's your turn again. You may draw from your deck. Or you may draw a squirrel. Oh, so you can like always have a squirrel. Well, let's get a squirrel and then I can no matter what play my wolf. Right? How dull. What? Fuck you. All right, squirrel. <laughs> wolf. Two sacrifices. <laughs> Not remove All right, now I have a wolf. Getting backseated by the game itself, right? How do I attack? I don't recall how that actually worked. Or do I just... Wait, how do I end my... I'll oh, ring the bell. That's right. Yeah, get wrecked, nerd. So I didn't want to see... I didn't want the coyote to be able to block because I figured I'll just go for the kill. <laughs> because you are learning, I will pass. Oh, damn. All right, getting... Uh, random... Or the certainty of a squirrel. All right, fine. I'll take a random card. River Snapper. So you have to sacrifice two things for it, right? It has lots of HP, but it doesn't do very much damage. So it's like a tank. So Wolf is pretty attacky. This is pretty tanky. Yeah. Easy. Okay. They won't all be so easy. <laughs> all right. Let me recall your story. Oh, yes. You were lost in the deep forest. A single path revealed itself. Oh, okay, so if I recall the story, we're actually doing the thing. All right, cool. 
two denizens of the forest approached you tentatively. Uh, Choich. Choich. I want the left one. A caustic adder. Damage from its bite is always lethal. So it always kills other creatures. So I'm thinking if the cards are positioned right across from each other, like two creatures, does that mean they attack each other? And if they're unopposed, like there's no other creature, then that deals damage to the player. It's, I've played enough Magic the Gathering to like, I don't know, at least have an idea of this. Um, okay, so then the other one is a cat. The undying cat. Sacrificing it does not kill it. So you can use cats to summon lots of things. Uh, only one may grace your paltry deck. Oh, so you get to deck build? I mean, I really like the idea of <coughs> infinite sacking the cat. <laughs> cat doesn't die. Another creep. Oh, okay, so this is actually a deck building campaign, I guess, and I'm building my deck right now. Uh, some of the creatures of the forest seemed willing to follow you. You came across an abandoned sack. Ah, uh, squirrel in a bottle. Break in case of emergency. Squirrel. What? <laughs> you have a second? <laughs> emergency squirrels. Another useful implement. It'll allow you to tip the scales. So you have items that you can sort of affect the game with. Three. Oh, we can only have three items. So it feels like I should use one of them just to get an item slot. Hmm. You were ambushed while crossing some rough terrain. Okay. Um, you were ambushed while crossing some rough terrain. So, we're going. <laughs> ah! Uh, you may now see my moves ahead of time. What? You may now see my moves ahead of time. Um, I've got a bolt. Wait, there's a oh, there's a boulder and some stumps in the way. I see. That's interesting. And does that mean that it's going to play the wolf club? What is? Behold the rule book. Uh, a card bearing this sigil will grow into a more powerful form after one turn on the board. A card bearing this sigil. Wait, fledgling. A card bearing this sigil will grow into a more powerful form after one turn. On the board. Okay, so the wolf cub is gonna probably grow into a wolf. That makes sense. Okay. Uh, so I have a cat, uh, items may help, yes, yes. I have a stoat, a squirrel, can I only, oh, I can play as many cards as I want in one turn, though. Um, oh, you have to sacrifice something for the, scat, for the cat in the first place. Let's do the, wait, let's do the squirrel, and then let's sacrifice the squirrel for the cat. Um, I'm gonna want to go on this side, I think, eventually, like for something that's going to actually attack, but not for the cat. So I'll put the cat there because I don't really want to attack with it. Um, and I have squirrels and scales, but I don't think I want to use that. Let's just, maybe let's just summon the stoat. Let's sack the cat, but it doesn't sack for the stoat over here. Um, and I don't think I want to do anything with the river snapper. Like it's fat, but it's not going to do any more damage than the stoat. So we could just attack with the stoat. Let's do that. I mean, is there any point in the extra squirrel? I could sack it for the river snapper. I'll wait for that. So, do one damage. Whoa, mind the ambitious wolf cub, it ages swiftly. Yeah, it's gonna turn into a wolf, I assume. So I can draw, I'll draw a regular card. I don't want any squirrels right now. Ooh, a wolf, yeah, okay. Uh, RIP stoat again. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. <clears throat> I don't mind if you say good play, yeah. Yeah. Um, you must put one hand on your hip and the other high above your head like this. Uh, thank you, Dingus. Um, have we passed the Deku Tree touch? Hi, Jazz. Jazz, we're gonna do Augury of Time also, because it seems like a lot, it was really split. A lot of people wanted both of them. Um, all right. So, I guess I could try busting, th I could just, I could get a squirrel from this, but like, I feel like I need to save my emergency squirrels for an emergency. I I'm kind of just want the wolf again, and then just to send the wolf through this area. 
Um, but maybe if I keep the stoat too, that would be good. And it's better to use a squirrel on it. Let's do that. I'll use one of my squirrels. I just don't know how rare these items are going to be. It kind of depends on how rare the items are going to be. And then let's... Uh... Oh, can I play right here? No, I can't play right there. Okay, the only... Yeah, I can only basically play it right there. Okay, cool. Well, I'll take care of the stump and then we'll get the stoat going over here. The bat didn't die? Flies over creatures. Okay, this is just magic. <laughs> this is just magic. That's fine. My bat flew right over your stoat. Ho <laughs> ho. This is the only other card in my deck. Holy crap. Um. Feels like I can just win. Oh, and they got a wolf now too. My boulder's still tanking. Um. Can I sack the boulder, or does it not work that way? Yeah, you can't draw blood from a boulder. Okay, that makes sense. I feel like I can just attack and I'll be good. Um, I'm just gonna attack. Feels like we should be okay. All I got is squirrels now. So I'll play my squirrel. Uh, sack my squirrel and my cat for a wolf to oppose the wolf, and then we'll send it! Send it! Boom, motherfucker! <laughs> Let's go! Alright. I am playing it blind. Good play. <laughs> Juz, you haven't played this, have you? Of course, Juz is here for the spooky games. All right, cool. Let's see how hard the items are to get. I love card games, so this I am enjoying this. I really love card games. I'm not super big on like the super dark aesthetic, but that's okay. I'll just play Ocarina of Time tomorrow and get my happy happy vibes in. Um, but the I just want to troll you. All right, welcome. <laughs> um, so we get to choose another card. The young wolf club, it grows the wolf after a single turn. But I love card games, so I actually am quite into the uh, strategy of this. Okay. Mm, Sparrow, I assume, is flying. This is the rule book. Airborne, yes. This is flying from magic, so it skips, or it goes over stuff. Okay. A card bearing this sigil will strike an opponent directly, even if there's a creature opposing it. Uh, I'm really, I'm really into the, like, wolf DPS club right here. Like, flying over for one is, like, whatever. I'd rather, I'd rather have a big fat wolf. Cause I can I can sack cats to the wolf. Ah, uh, that sounds good to me. Wolf DPS, let's go. This is fun. We should do a prediction. We should do a prediction. Oh, we should do a timer for this too. Shoot. Um, let me open my here. Let me get the timer rolling. You'll do predictions. Okay, please, if you can, that would be great. Let's get a timer rolling here. Um. Oh my gosh, where's my live split? There it is. Put the timer in the corner. Let's get the timer rolling. Uh, you stumbled into some strange stones in the mist. Oh, let me move the timer off of my screen. Sorry, one sec. Uh, Tunic is, I wish you'd been here for Tunic. Yeah, Tunic is done and is all on YouTube. And we have both an edited version of Tunic and an unedited going up. Um, the, uh, the unedited is done. The finale I just posted today, and the edited one is currently happening. So, uh, exclamation YT will get you to that if you're interested in watching Tunic. It was a great game. I also have playthroughs of Minecraft on hardcore mode. First time ever playing the game, and I did it on hardcore. Same with Terraria. Uh, same with Subnautica, all hardcore mode. Um, I've got a bunch of stuff in there. I've got Outer Wilds. Um, I'm going to have a Hades playthrough as well up soon, too. Let's see. Uh, you're compelled to choose a worthy sacrifice, one that will be lost forever. Okay, so we have to purge from our deck, but that's good. Uh... Really? I've, I've wanted to get rid of squirrels or something. I don't know. No, I'm keeping my cat. Uh, I love the cat. I love the cat. I'm keeping the cat. Fuck you, wolf. I just got it. Come on. Was this RNG? I feel like this was bad RNG. I don't want to do it. Come on, man. I don't want to get rid of either of those. Oh, can we get the edited grant board we completed? Um, somebody was thinking about working on it, but sadly, uh, I don't know what happened with that. I could ask. I no one tell Ruby. I'm getting rid of the wolf cub. Like I like the wolf cub because it grows into a wolf, but I like continuously sacking the cat. I feel like I feel like the wolf club has to go. It, God, that sucks. I really liked that card too. <laughs> a healthy host. What? You looked upon your menagerie and selected healthy hope. What does that pick me? <laughs> all right, Stoat. All right, the Stoat. The Stoat's been disrespected this entire time. All right. Maybe we're. <laughs> a 
so is this like a, a gas he's picking up with the soul of the wolf cub now lives in the stoat. So what does the stoat turn into? Oh, that's cool. It made the card stronger. What does it do though? I should have clicked on the rules maybe. Okay. Is there like an options menu I should check? Or like an inventory so I can see my cards. Uh, behold my totem. It inscribes my canine cards with- Wait! Flying! I can have flying wolves? How do I get flying wolves? Why don't I have flying wolves? No care for the rules. Wait, is my stoat insulting the opponent? Only it keeps me rounded. What? Oh, because I, it's because I sacrificed it last time. I'm sorry. St the stoat is so upset at me sacrificing it. <clears throat> okay. Um, so we play our squirrel. We sack the squirrel to the cat. Uh, we sack the cat to the stoat. Back on the, I like how the stoat just gives you shit the entire time. So what happens? A card bearing the sigil will grow into a more powerful form. Oh, nice. We have a more powerful. Okay, that's cool. We have a more powerful stoat. I like that. Should I sack it again just to make it salty? <laughs> what happens if you try to just draw a card? Okay. Um, send it, stoat. Oh, what's shit? I actually didn't see that there. Were... Oh, it's not out yet, right? Coyote. Yeah, they have flying coyotes. What the fuck? But they're not out yet. I don't think. Yeah, now they it played a coyote and a bat, so the coyote is gonna just eat my butt for two, and the bat ate my butt for two. Oh my god, we're getting annihilated though. Uh, do I have these items? I do have the items. I might. What is it? Elder Stoat. Uh, hopefully it'll kill the coyote, but can they just choose not to block? Don't really know how that works. Uh, I need to get rid of the river snapper, I feel like. Because sacking two just for like a tank is not helping at all, especially with the uh Especially with the thing. Um Well, I might be able to win this if I use all my items, but do I really want to do that? How much health do you have? Does it tell me here? Hey, how come my rule book won't come up? I didn't mean to push that! I didn't mean to push that. <laughs> I was ah! I was trying to get an info on how much life is to is your total amount of life. No. Using this as a learning opportunity may be the only way to mitigate my disappointment. Fetch me the candlestick. Wait, I'm pl I'm moving now. All right, suddenly it's a point. Whoa! Suddenly, it's a not point and click adventure. Boop. <laughs> dee, 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 dee. Wee! Ding, ding, ding. Oh. Uh, what else can I fuck with? Well, this is not what I was expecting at all. Figurines. A safe? Is there, are there puzzles? I don't see anything in this. Is this suddenly a point and click adventure game? Huh. Uh, what's the code, Chad? Uh, the code is seven, seven, seven. Open your fingers, damn it! Sorry, wait, no, no. The code is four. Open your fingers, damn it! All right, um, more things. Whoa, what is this? Whoa. Oh, hello, eyes in the dark. Dun, 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 dun. Wait, was I supposed to do something with the candles? <laughs> um, the candlestick from atop the barrel. Uh, oh, this one. There we go. Bring it here. Da, 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 da. Movement is hella jank. There you go. Da, da, da. Now sit back down. Da, 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 da. Let me explain something to you. That was one of the two mistakes you can make. If you make another, I must sacrifice you. Now where were we? No oh, shit. <laughs> I wonder if I have to start over if you die. That's interesting. So since it is, I guess, a roguelike, you probably get different cards and then 
different runs. I don't know. This is interesting. But yeah, I think I could have won that by using the um, item to heal my scales, if that's how it works. I don't quite understand how that works. And then a squirrel, and then I was gonna sag the squirrel to get a wolf, and then I was gonna send it. Okay, um, no, <clears throat> no more river snappers. Mm, Raven is like some flying damage, but I just want wolves, man. I just want wolves. I can't, I've got too many things that require big sacrifices, so I need some smaller stuff. In my deck, so I'm gonna take this barrel. <coughs> I can't have so many things with two sacrifices. What is this uh, bonfire over here? Oh, this probably you probably only get one path or the other. You came across a small group of survivors. Uh, they huddled around a campfire. They looked up. Uh, come warm one of your creatures by the fire. It will enhance its power. Oh, cool. There's one of the survivors wiping drool from their mouth. Um, <laughs> you know, it's just a little rabies. It's fine. So we can. Hmm. <laughs> Kind of like, kind of like increasing the stoat because the stoat is so s salty and sarcastic. Let's keep increasing my stoat. All right. I feel like I should be nice to the stoat. Another gnash to their teeth. Without a word, you pulled the stoat away from the fire and left. Okay, whatever. So see, now I can no longer go there at all. I see how this is gonna go. All right, let's go back at it. What is this? Oh, it's a thing that's in the way. Okay, and they're gonna be playing a grizzly four six. That's crazy. How am I supposed to handle that? It was still even one shot the river snapper. That's still even one shot the river snapper. What the heck is that? What's this? Mighty leap. Card bearing the sigil will block an opposing creature bearing an airborne. Okay. Do you have anything interesting now? Yeah, I got owned by trying to figure out how many life total you have. Why come I can touch that? It doesn't. Gem, gem activated. Uh, there's my squirrels over there. Okay, so uh, I think the way that we have this going is pretty good though. We're gonna drop a squirrel. We're gonna sack it to the cat. Um, and then, oh God. I'm, I feel like I'm gonna get savaged by this grizzly. Maybe I should use my, I'm gonna use my items cause I'm scared. I don't know, I don't know yet if I should be saving my items or not. But this is, this is some shit. All right, we're gonna sack both for the wolf and then we're gonna send it. Let's go. Hopefully try to kill it before the grizzly just immediately comes in and fucks our life up. Never mind. Uh, I guess we're gonna just need some, maybe we can like, maybe we could just get us, hold on. What if I just play squirrel to, can I, oh, do I have to attack with everything? I think I fudged that up. I was hoping that I could save the squirrel to block, like in magic, but I think I might have to attack with everything, which sucks, because I think that'll just die. But I don't, let's test, we gotta test. Will my squirrel just die from this? Yo, let's go, chump block squirrels for days, chump block squirrels for days, send it. Easy game, let's go. <laughs> let's go. All right, um, do I want another fire or another card? Um, I mean, I kind of like my wool. What if I just keep what I got and keep buffing stuff up? It just depends on how good the new cards are. I want to learn what the new cards are just to get an idea of what is available out there. Oh, I think I misunderstood. This was a tool. This is not a, I misunderstood. Um, okay, we can get a skunk. It reduces the strength of the enemy. How does that work? Uh, the creature opposing the card loses one power. Oh, wow, it's just a straight-up diva. But it can't deal damage is the thing. So maybe it's a better blocker than the turtle, though. I don't know. <clears throat> like, this could be useful even against flyers. More wolves. I have too many wolves. And I don't want ravens for the sacking. So I think we're going to get a skunk, and we're going to sack it to our wolves, TBQH. I wish I could get rid of... What is this? You wanted more wolves? No, I, 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 I like wolves, but... I, I already have two, I think, and they cost two to sack, so I need, like, stuff to sack to it. <clears throat> I mean, I can always just draw squirrels, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I want to get the skunk because it has utility, and then I can sack it if I don't want it to wolf. I do love deck building games. Uh, if you deem it necessary, you may cut up one of my cards. Yes, please. Oh, I can... But maybe I don't... Oh, I want to get rid of the river snapper, to be honest. Can I just use this to... 
A rock may get you out of a hard place. Yeah, right, I can block with it. Hey, you'll, it's, oh, a goat. That's horrifying, thank you very much. I don't know what these do, let's see. Uh, to the user, you will place a weight on the scales. Wait. You will place a, what? I don't think I understand what that is. Um, a black goat is created in your hand. Uh, and you can sacrifice it for a bunch of stuff. Uh, you can either block with a boulder or play a bunch of wolves with this. Uh, sure. Feeling overburdened enough with the items you carry on. Oh, did I just get overburdened? Uh-oh. Um, let's see. The trees seem to close in around a chill mist descended. You can hear the clinking of metal. The figure stood in your path. The prospector. Um. All right, here we go. I wonder if you always start with a squirrel, or if I'm just kind of getting lucky. Uh, what are they gonna play? A pack mule. So it's just gonna. What is this? At the end of the owner's turn, a card bank, the sigil will move in the direction inscribed in the sigil. <clears throat> Interesting. Um, okay, well, let's drop our squirrel, and then let's drop our cat, and then um, let's play a skunk, and then let's snag our, let's get our wolf out, and then let's start sending the wolf. Um, do I want to just block with the squirrel or do I want something new? Let's see what else we got. I mean, I might just get a yeah, this fucking river snapper, dude. <laughs> Not the river snapper. Um, will this kill their coyote? And then, what do I have in the way of items? I could. Can I cut up. Oh! Do? Oops, not this one. To use you, you may cut up one of your adversary's cards. I did not understand. I thought it was gonna remove one of my cards from my deck permanently, which I like the idea of. Okay, cool. Um, so I don't want to die, but it just depends on if it plays more stuff. I feel like it probably will. All right, maybe R.I.P. Goat. What does this do? Place a weight. Why would I want that? Um, let's see, what to do? I'm gonna yellow it, we might just die and then we'll start over and that's fine. Oh, it didn't kill the coyotes. Wait, it killed my wolf. Oh gosh, I didn't, th I didn't realize the wolf would die. I think I didn't, uh-oh, <laughs> uh-oh! I don't think I realized the wolf was gonna die from that. Uh, goat, I need you more than ever. Do they block or not? Do they have to block? They do, right? Gosh. Uh, does it count? Does it like roll over? No, it doesn't. It's only used once. Oh, the thing's only used once. Oh, we're fucked. We are fucked. Okay, I... Shit, I need to know if the coyote will block the wolf or not. Did it, did it not block before, but was it not there and I didn't pay attention? If the wolf goes through, then I'm good and it'll die. If the wolf isn't gonna go through, I need to use the cut on the coyote. Uh, oh, I just killed, oh my God, and it just plays another one. Fun! Um, what if we just draw a so let's see. I'm just gonna draw a squirrel, block with the squirrel, and send the send the wolf. I keep forgetting that the coyote kills the wolf. <laughs> I keep forgetting that the coyote kills the wolf. No. Shit. Um, we're dead. How much HP does it have left? If it only has one HP, we're saved by the sparrow. 
I'm not sure if it- Alright, YOLO. If we just die, then we die. That's fine. I'm hoping it only has one HP left. It didn't have one HP left! <laughs> I've botched this so bad. I realize now that the scales balance each other. Which makes sense. I thought it was total HP, but it's just difference in HP to win. I thought that- I thought it was total HP, so I was gonna win right there. Oh, we're dead. We're completely dead. <laughs> I just got sassed again. At the end of the owner's turn, a card bearing decision will move in the direction described. I don't. <coughs> Fuck you! Alright, I'm gonna sack the stoat out of rage. I'm gonna sack the stoat out of rage. So I'm not super close to dying now, I realize. Um. What's this thing over here? A mole. A <laughs> mole! <laughs> oh my god. So the stoat won't die from the coyote because it has 3 HP, right? Yeah, fuck off. Uh, I should just sack him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sack him. I'm gonna sack him! It won't die. Oh, that'll just do 2 damage to me. Okay. We might still be able to survive this. All I have left are squirrels though, but that's okay. We can play the squirrel. And then sag the squirrel in this for the river snapper. And then we can start sending it. Alright. Oh, the mole went in? Wait, why did the mole go in? Oh, whatever. Are you out of cards too, nerd? I can't get rid of the bowler, so we're just sending it. Alright, cool. Whatever. Get, get out of here, nerd. Okay, well, we uh, had to learn some rules there, but that's okay. I hope you didn't think you- Oh, phase two! Phase two! There's gold in them cards! Uh, do you have any cards left, though, or are you just a nerd? What?! <laughs> I've struck gold! <laughs> All I have are squirrels! <laughs> How do I get rid of the gold? What the fuck am I supposed to do about that? What the fuck am I supposed to do about that? Gold. So it'll attack me and then it'll clear up the gold and then I have squirrels and then we can just be sad. Alright, so you gotta save some cards. <laughs> what a game. I got four squirrels though, so we got that going for us, which is nice. Get them. Um, the squirrels can't need to draw a card first. Yay, squirrels. So, um, <coughs> I could cut the, well, squirrels can't deal damage. I just don't see how I'm ever going to deal damage. When opposing creatures place opposite to an, wait, when opposing creatures place opposite to an empty space, a card bearing decision will move to that empty space. Guardian. Okay, so it always guards. So, but it's just gonna keep killing my squirrel, and my squirrel's not gonna do anything. Like, I could cut up this. I could cut up the bloodhound, but then what happens? Well, we're gonna lose anyway, right? So, cut the bloodhound, and then see what happens. Adder. Great. <laughs> All I have are squirrels. What do you want from me, game? I don't know. I think we messed up. All right, just kill me already. The uh, mill deck. I needed to save stuff, but I didn't realize it. All right, all right. So that's like the first boss. All right. Oh, the starvations get bigger and bigger. That's interesting. <clears throat> cool. All right. All right. More gold for me. <laughs> all right. All right. Deaths. Here, we're gonna go, we're gonna do an attempt counter for this. Uh. Let's see. Attempts. Uh, this is attempt two. Attempt two. Assuming that's a GG. <clears throat> Was that a GG? You aren't dead yet. Uh, did you? Must ask you a favor or like a memento. Oh, good. Your very own death card. Uh, we'll work together to amend that. Uh, 
Here are some cards from your mediocre deck. <laughs> this game is toxic. We can put them to good use. Choose a card to draw the cost. I get this sparrow out of here. Cost of one blood from the sparrow. And another. Uh, use its power and health. Get this river snapper out of here. Now choose a card from which we will extract the sigils. Get this skunk out of here. Wait, what are this? I don't know what the sigils are. Get this skunk out of here. Oh, the stink. Okay. I never did ask. Oh, it gives you a new card because you sucked? I don't know. <laughs> uh, lol. There is one final matter, the portrait. Are you ready? Oh, this is just your... For people saying like, why do that? Why not this? Because I don't know what it's going to do. I thought it was deleting those cards. It's because I haven't played the game before. Backseaters, get out of here. I don't know what it's going to do. That's the point of playing the game for the first time. I thought it was going to delete the cards forever. Oh my God. Anyway, uh, perhaps you can understand Bone. No, maybe not. I mean, that's you, you, that might not be the case. Let's be honest here. <laughs> <laughs> a resourceful opossum costs two bones. How do I get bone? Oh, from killing things, maybe? Um, you gain a bone, one of your creatures. Oh, okay. <laughs> For any reason. So does that count as a sacrifice, then? Because you sacrifice something, do you gain bones? Let's find out. What is this? This is a rattler. Rawr. All right. All right. It's three. Wait. I really should have paid attention. I think it deals three damage and has one HP. Um, since it only has one HP, then even something, even like, even a simple sacrificial stoat. Uh, okay, let's test this. So if we if we play a squirrel, and I sack the squirrel to the stoat, I do get a bone. Yeah. Okay. Good. I do get the bone from that. Um. Oh, I. They're gonna just kill each other, aren't they? Well, R.I.P. Stoat. Oh no, they don't kill it. Oh, cause it wasn't in play yet. Oh, it, it, there's no exchange of, I see what I messed up about how the game works. In Magic, when two creatures hit each other, they exchange damage. But in this one, I, it's just the attacker deals damage but doesn't receive any damage in return. So blocking doesn't deal damage. And that I did not, is not intuitive to me, I did not. Did not see that coming. Whoops. Um, okay. But now we got an opossum, so that's good. Opossum sucks. Why do I want this? <laughs> Fuck. All right. We're going to draw a squirrel. We're going to... It deals three damage. Oh, shit. Well, the opossum can... Will it... Ki Wait. This will kill it, right? As silly as that is. Simply, it t I, sh I didn't do what I wanted to do, but that's okay. Will that kill it? Oh, that's so weird. Okay, I just, my brain doesn't work like that. I got too much magic brain. Let's just sack two squirrels for the wolf and call it a day. All right. And then let's send it. But the rattler is going to, oh, okay, that was it. Okay, all right, here we go again. So you get a completely different deck, and now I have bones? Wait, I forgot your figurine. Get up and, have I gotten a figurine before? Oh, is this why it's a rogue light? Because I get new stuff the next time you play. Uh, it's beside the safe. Okay. I wonder how hard it is to win on the first go. It's beside the safe. Do you mean this safe? Oh, here we go. There's a bunch of figurines. But the only one it lets me grab is this one. Wait. Mm. Let us continue. What is it? Is there an inventory page? Inventory doesn't appear that there's an inventory page. I tab. Uh, let me check the. Whoops. Let me check the controls again. Uh, there are no controls. <laughs> All right, whatever. Um. All right. 
What did you expect for only f so why is it all bones now? I wonder if it's like you get different types of decks each time you play or if it's random Let's go. Wait, what does this one do? Uh, when a card bearing the central perishes, a copy of it is created in your hand. Oh, so you can just infinite block with the cockroaches. Um, it costs four bones in order to play it. So do we want the... The Rattler deals only one more damage, but it costs six bones. It's only three one. I feel like the Rattler is maybe not worth that. But I guess once... Do bones go away once you use them? I assume they do. Does a cockroach generate tons of bones? Huh. All right, well, we're fucking roach deck now, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> roach deck! <laughs> uh, the cockroaches have bones, it's fine. Yo, I wanna make a roach deck. Mm, cutting up an opponent's card seems really good, so we're gonna take those. All right, here we go. Counter. The, yeah, the gameplay of this is really cool. I quite like it. I don't know how we're gonna get that bullfrog. What do you do? Mighty leap. Uh, a card bearing the sigil will block an opposing creature bearing the air. Bo oh, okay. So that's yeah, that makes sense. It can block that. Okay, so we can wait. So what do we got? We're gonna have a two. We're gonna have a bunch of flying stuff coming in over here. Uh, so the bullfrog bullfrog can block that. Um, okay, we gotta get two bones and four bones before we can do anything with that. It's hard to get bones. It's hard to get bones. How do we get that many bones? Um, all right, let's see. I know what I'm gonna do. I feel like I'm fucked. Uh, well, we can drop a squirrel, sacrifice the squirrel for the bullfrog, which will sat, which will. Wait, this will. <coughs> it steals one damage. So actually, the bullfrog is gonna bully the sparrow. I like that. Okay, cool. So let's get the bullfrog right here. Um, and then we gotta wait until we get more bones before we do anything else. So whatever, we can send the bullfrog. And we'll survive, right? Oh, it does take it down to one, but that's okay. We'll kill it next turn. And the fur is doing fur things right there. Uh, do I want to sack a squirrel? I definitely want to send the bullfrog to kill the... Oh, it has two as well. Shit. I didn't think about that. It's not as good as I thought. Cockroaches. We gotta get the cockroach. We gotta get the cockroach engine going. Ah, uh, sure. What else in this shit deck? Okay, a wolf. Um, sick. <laughs> shit. Well, I didn't think this through. It's okay though. It's worth bones. We need those bones. What else is in my shit deck? There's a way out for both of us. It's somewhere in this foul cabin. So there is secrets to find in the cabin. Um, interesting. Uh, so we can drop in a pos. Uh, oh, sack it to the stoat? That's not gonna be super useful though. Stoat can't block. These are all flying, right? I just wanna get the wolf out next turn, I think. Or getting the cockroach mill going would be good. Um,. Will that hit that? How does this work? It will hit it. Okay, that's nice. So even though it's flying, it'll still hit it. Okay, so now we just got squirrels. I see the way this is going. Uh, we can get the wolf out and then kill that thing with it. I concede. Okay, bye. You may accept my surrender or you may finish this match the slow way. <laughs> Gogroach talk. Wait. Oh, where are my bones at? All right, send it. I hope he just annihilates me. Damn. Uh, stoke. Gogroach. <laughs> Wanted to practice. How brutal of you. You dealt me more damage than you needed to win. Such feats are rewarded! Uh, a tooth to keep for, ex for each extra damage dealt. Nice! <clears throat> the trap may be interested in your spoils. See, it was worth it! Alright. Uh, if you desire it, you may stand now. It will allow me time to plan. So I could... You may stand whenever the map is unrolled. It allows me to plan your next encounter, but you keep your hands off my possession. So there has to be like secrets and shit here, all right? It's 
it's three twelve six o'clock, obviously. So we go and set the thing to twelve three six. All right, nice. Where's the twelve at? Hey, it moved. Wait, you see it moves? See it moves when I do that? Look, it's moving. Does it just always move? There's like something inside of it. Yeah, this feels like an escape room. Does it move less when I take it off of one here? No, I think it just keeps moving the same amount and I just happen to click it on the amount. I just happen to randomly do it when it was moving. Um, whoa, there's cards here. Squirrel and a beehive. I wonder what that card does. Okay. Um, Can I change the clock? I can change the clock. Whoa. This just changes the different hands. Okay. So we have a, we have two three digit code. Yeah, this is definitely just an escape room. <laughs> we have two three digit codes. Mm. Brute force enjoyer. I put out that candle and I can't re I wonder if putting out that candle makes me just get wrecked. I put it out last time too. Yay, it's been I wonder what putting out the candle does. Uh, okay, where else can we get a code from? Mighty Leap, a card bearing this, oh yeah, that we've seen that one. Wait, oh, this is like my whole appendix or something? Bifurcated strike? Strike each opposing square, that's sick. Oh, three-way bifurcate, frozen away, trinket bear. All right, we'll, come, we'll get those when we come up to it, but we can read all the infos from that. <coughs> uh, okay, we can go back here. Um, yeah, I don't know where to get any more codes from. I don't know where to get any more codes from. There's two three-digit codes. And I don't have any info on. I'm trying to think of any possible thing. There's three candles! Uh, can I do something with those? No, that's just pulling that. Okay, uh, one, zero, one, zero, two, not useful, right? Zero, one, two, the code is zero, one, two. Zero, one, two. I'm just treating this like an escape room now. Uh, is there a time some, this is a, this isn't even a time, it's just three digits, right? Hmm. Okay. Wait, this literally says 273 on it. What? This says 273 on it. And it's, is this the clock? Is this an escape room? How did I go back and forth again? Holy shit. Appendix 12, subsection 12, or subsection 7. Wait, 12, 7, 3, 12, 7, 4, that could be the clock time. Oh, shit. That could be the clock time at the top, because the clock has access to 12, and the, other, the safe doesn't. Where was the... Okay, where's the... Bruh. How many pages did I flip? 273. Oh, that's a safe. That's 273 on the safe, for sure. Cool, we got a new card. Stink bug. Free a stink bug. I wasn't sure if I would ever escape that iron crypt. Is the stoat around? A stunted wolf. His madness must end. Put that away. Dun, 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 dun. 
I have a key now. I mean, the obvious choice doesn't open that. Um, <laughs> the fuck? Uh, <laughs> scales, bell. Oh, is this a game? It's almost like it's a game in progress or something. You have like a 2-3 creature here, a 1-3 creature here. 1-3 and a 1-3. It wants me to set the... Can I set the... Oh, no. Will it... I can set the game so that it will produce what result? And then I go 0, 5. So if I want... If I want, uh, this is, so if they one, two, three, four, five, this will deal five damage, which I believe is what this is saying. This will deal five damage. I think I did it. I just set it up so that it would deal five damage, which is what the scale said. Skink. I forgot that I put that there. Very well. You may add it to your deck and I'll deal you, wait. You may add it to your deck and I'll deal you one every so often. Do I want a skink? Well, I have a skink now. Um... Okay, this is more complicated. This is this is cool. I wasn't expecting an escape room, but I'm quite happy to have found an escape room. Uh, I didn't see what was going on, Roro and Kenzie, but hopefully okay. Let's see. Uh, so how's this one gonna deal five damage? Uh, I can move. I can push stuff up and down, so I can push this down. Oh, and then that one, but I don't want it to block. Uh, I want the ones that deal the most damage. I can't push that one up though. Why can't I push that one up? Uh, this will deal one damage. This will deal three damage, and then I needed to deal five damage, and this will deal five damage, right? <coughs> oh no, yeah, one because this will block one, three, five. Why did that only deal two damage? Did these still block? Let me just test. No. What? I am confusion why this didn't deal damage across here. Uh, once, what damage is coming through? It doesn't really indicate. So one damage is coming from this because if I put this one out, it deals two. Why isn't this doing three damage? Yeah, one damage, two? Or does it mean, f what? I don't understand why that's not doing damage. Um, Everything is blocked, so no damage, right? And then I move these back. Why does it only deal two damage? Hmm. I don't understand what happened. Can I look at that again? I got some ants though. Forward world creatures, those ants. Very well, I'll add them to your deck. Okay, we're just getting, we just unlocked tons of ants. How do I, oh shit, it unlocked more. Okay, this is the same one. <clears throat> I just want to understand why this is dealing five damage, or is it? Or is there something else going on that I don't understand? Um, uh, loose tail. When a card bearing the sigil would be struck, a tail is created in its place, and a card bearing the sigil moves. Wow, well, my God! Um, a card when it would be struck, a tail is created in its place, and a card bearing the sigil moves to the right. Whoa! Oh, so it's like it. It's like you. Just, it's like a bait and switch. Like you just lose the tail, but then it goes to the right. Okay, that's interesting. Um, I'm seriously wondering because there's a three code here that uh, starts on 12. I am seriously wondering if there is, if this is the answer to the clock. I know, hourglass. Let's try 1297. Because it's to do with time. I don't know. Okay, that was my idea. I just, I noticed that this one... That ability 24 is <laughs> not going to happen, but <coughs> maybe it's part of the golden path. <laughs> um, okay, I think we're going to go back to playing the game, but I almost want to look through this entire thing for clues to potentially open the clock. Like, maybe one of them will make sense. There are some I've noticed. Ants. Like this one. 1273. I kind of want to try 1273 just because of how wild this one is. But I would also like bell ring. Some for something about the bell ringing. It's interesting how there's like secret lore hidden in these. Okay, book of the ambidextrous. You may draw twice. Ooh, so we get all these like boons and magic things and 
Um, but I think, yeah. We could just brute force it. <laughs> if, we, if we take the idea that it must start on 12, we can brute force this shit. <laughs> All right. Um, let's go back to playing. But that was cool. We'll come back and get some more of those cards later from the other things. Let's just keep playing a little bit. Okay. What cards do we have? An inviolable beehive. When it's attacked, you draw a bee. Oh, shit. That's kind of cool. Bee deck. The bee dream is back. Oh, I see why I made this bad. I made, I could have made it a cat, but instead I made it stinky. So it gives you a card to make it easier on your next run. Um, fuck it, B-Deck. B-Dream is back. Let's go. I want to see what... Oh, this is you get an item or this is you upgrade something. But on the path here, I wonder what this one is? I don't know if I've seen this one. Hmm, let's get more... Is this item or card? This is get an item. And you have three. Oh, so we're dumb. They accept this gift. Oh, you do get a um, pack rats. All right, you could be B rat. The prudent pack rat. Never doubt the utility of a well stocked pack. Oops, I wanted to click on that and see what it does. Whatever, YOLO. I don't know what this one is. It looks harder. Let's do it. Oh, does that mean it has a sigil or something? You again. Indeed. Friend freed me. Oh, they talk to each other. Uh, I basically told them how to do it. <laughs> Damn! Wouldn't call him a friend. But I suppose we are in deep this time. Look, her ant. Wait, I got ants and bees, and I just want—I just want a bee deck. I want a bee deck so bad. Man, the cat was so OP. I want the cat again so bad. Okay, what do we got? We got a coyote coming in hot. How does this work? Sprinter. At the end of this, uh, at the end of the owner's turn, a card bearing this will move in the direction described. I assume that's what this thing does. <coughs> yeah. Okay. Um. So we can just play the stink bug, supposing it loses one power. So that'll be nice on the sparrow. But it's gonna, it's eventually gonna move to the side. So let's have the stink bug. Oh, it takes two bonds. Okay, okay. So let's do the let's drop a squirrel, uh, and then let's get the, let's get our stoat stotalating out here. Um, stoat and the coyote just kill each other, right? Oh, the stoat survives the coyote. All right, nice. So uh, stoat can go here. Total miss. Well, you little shit. All right. Um, I will sack you so hard, stoat. Don't fucking. I'll do it. Um, I think I'm gonna wait. Um, I think I'm gonna wait to get more bones. All right. Yeah, yeah, you my butt. Okay. Um, I think I'm just gonna get. I'm just gonna draw a squirrel, get my worker ant out, and then play my stink bug. What does this do? Ants. Equal to the number of ants. Oh, you need to make like an ant deck. Okay, whatever. Uh, play the squirrel, sack the squirrel to the ant. Um, I'll put the ant here, and then the stink bug can deal with these guys over here. And then let's go, nerd. Oh, it switches to the left? What? All right, whatever. Um, bullfrog, huh? <clears throat> you can block, so you can block these guys. Mm, but I don't want to sack any of these, so send it. Easy game. Um, let's just get a squirrel and play our bullfrog. Whatever. Send it. Nice. <clears throat> All right. Cool. I wonder if I, I was wondering if I get anything extra from that. I guess if I had gone down this path, I would have gotten this. But if I go down this path, I get whatever this is. Maybe this is a better item reward. Let's see. You must make a different kind of choice now. Choose not a specific beast, but decide the cost you wish to pay. So I have to get rid. Oh, <clears throat> I've never had a card where I have to sack three things before. I'm curious. Moose buck, the regal moose. All right, we got a fatty moose. A 
I thought we were going bees, but apparently now it's moose. A random card with a cost of three. Yeah, I get it. Okay. What were you expecting? I want to know what this does, though. Let me see. Thank you. Hefty. <coughs> um, at the end of the owner's turn, a card bank decision will move in the direction inscribed. Okay, so that's it gets pushed. Creatures in that way will be pushed in the same direction. I wonder what happens if it pushes them off the edge. All right, so it slowly works its way to the right, I think. That's what that means. We got a fatty moose. All right, cool. Nice. More items we can't get. What is it going to give us instead? But a small critter appeared. Oh, we get pack rats every time we... <laughs> Never doubt... Th okay, what is... I completely forgot what the pack rat does, but whatever. We'll find out soon. The card abilities are really cool. I like them a lot. I see why people like this game. Uh, this definitely is scratching my card playing itch. God, I love card games. Uh, let's see. All right, we do we do have to sack two for the pack rat. Uh, you receive a random item as long as your pack is not full. I see. That's pretty sick. It's a 2-2 two -two as well, which, which ain't bad. All right. Um, I'm really missing the cat, though. Really missing the cat. Um... You can only sack a wolf for one, right? Even though it costs two. So I think we're gonna need some. Let's see, what do I have here? We're gonna let's use some squirrels, uh, just to get rid of some items, so that we can get some more stuff with our pack rats. Uh, oops, I'm not paying attention. We got two sparrows coming in. Okay. I mean, we could just <coughs> send the wolf, but I feel like I feel like it's prudent to sack. Let's play the pack rats. Sack these two guys. Um. It's just gonna deal one damage, so I'm gonna oppose it with the pack rat. And then we just get this item. What is this? Hourglass. Uh, your adversary will entirely skip their next turn. Damn, that seems sick. Um, I don't understand the purpose of this one still, so I think I'm gonna get rid of it or... Tr I don't like it. Get out of here. Just I gave... Oh, it just did an extra damage. Oh, I see. It's doing an extra damage, but being gross. Okay, whatever. Uh, I get the idea now. But I didn't really want it, so that's okay. We'll get rid of that item. Um, okay. And then we'll send the pack rat. All right, cool. Nice. We got a coyote coming in hot. All right. Um, do I want to sack a squirrel for the bullfrog? The bullfrog can block, can block the flyer, which is nice. Um, yeah, sure. Let's just sack a squirrel for the bullfrog. Okay, and we can not only do one damage, but this one will die. Okay. Oh yeah, the coyote destroys that. That's not good. Um, shoot. Do I sack both of those and kill the coyote and then have a wolf? But I'm gonna get like Sparrow City up in here. I do like attacking that to kill that one though. Um, but drawing could. Well, this could be risky. Let's draw. Skink. Let's see what it does. Oh yeah, this is the tail thing. <clears throat> okay, uh, we probably <coughs> probably needed to kill that coyote instead. I think it was a mistake, and I should have killed the coyote. It only has one HP though, so I just need to attack it with any, with like literally anything. Uh, I think we probably just attack it with a skink, or with a yeah, with a skink, and then kill the coyote. Um, am I gonna survive just sacking two squirrels? How many bones do I have? Can I see? I have tons of bones. Let's, I, I'm gonna keep drawing, but it could be a mistake. <coughs> you have me here, I surrender. But why? Why? Uh,. Fuck it. <laughs> Send it. <laughs> uh, moose buck. <laughs> uh, what if I just draw three squirrels? I wanted to draw three squirrels and play the moose buck. Buckaroodle reference. All right, what are we getting? Cat! I don't- I say, say no more! <laughs> I just want cats. Cats are so good. 
<coughs> I just want cats and moose bucks. Oh, what's this one? I don't know if I know what this diagram is. Let's do this one. And then we got the boss coming up. Obviously, this blood. The choice is yours. Yes, this is my whole deck. I think I might be discarding two cards. Um, maybe. Oh, more. Ant Do I have an ant queen? Dude, I want to make an ant deck so bad. Ah, uh, so we're just gonna yellow this shit with the beehive because I won't miss it if it's gone. Um. Oh, is this? Maybe I did do this and it's gonna buff it. Shit. Wait, I'm sacrificing this one to power up this one? I think that might be it. What happens here exactly? Does it swap the ability? I wish I could see. I can't look at my deck and see what it did. Damn it, I can't remember what that did. I have to review the footage. What? My boss battles are high stakes. With one flame, you will either overcome them or die. I'll let you keep the smoke. Thank you for the smoke. <coughs> it says the clank clank clanking. Is this the, uh... Yeah, this is the prospector again. So I gotta, rem I gotta not use up all my shit. Wait, so it didn't get rid of my ant queen. Oh no, I did the beehive, not the ant queen. Okay, forgot what I did. What is the smoke? What the fuck is the smoke? Just some shitty blocker. Or oh, what's his bone ability? Bone King, when a card bang, this sigil dies four bones. Okay, smoke is nice. <coughs> so I want that to die. Will the pack be will push other things? We'll move in the direction. I, it doesn't say it'll push. So I'm gonna put the smoke opposite of the coyote so that the coyote kills it and I get a bunch of bones. Um, okay, we can drop a squirrel. Oh, we can go ants here. We can totally go ants here. Hell yeah. <clears throat> Let's get the worker ant out first. Wait, maybe I want... What does the ant queen do? When a card bang the sigil is played, an ant is created in your hand. Yeah, okay. Ant queen just calls more ants. Oh, we're going, we're going full ant. Let's go. Alright, let's get the worker ants out. And then, um... Yeah, okay. So, the coyote will come and give me four bones, I believe. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. So many bones. Okay, um... Let's see. I can sack the opossum and a squirrel for the ant queen, so I think I'm just gonna do that. Uh, play the squirrel and the opossum and stack them for the ant queen and then she can she can wreck the coyote yeah yes now i have more worker ants oh yeah the the ants are coming let's go ant supremacy no less ant supremacy i'm just gonna sack a squirrel to the Sack a squirrel to get more ants. Send it. Ooh, the pack thing blocked it. Okay, uh, let's draw a card, see what we get. So strange, why can't I remember his name? I believe I lost some of my memory. Oh yeah, <clears throat> I need to save cards. I forgot, by the way. I need to not play anything and save cards because it's gonna turn all my stuff that's left over into gold at the end. Um. I gotta remember to do that. I can cut up a card and skip a turn, which is nice. But yeah, I'm not gonna play my stink bug. I'm just gonna keep sending it, and then this will be the end, I think. Yeah. No more playing things. There's gold in them cards. Yeah. Oh, it's stuff that's currently out stays. That kind of sucks. I forgot about that. Oh, it doesn't stay. Or did it stay? Bloodhound. Okay. You know what? This is what it had before. Like went to a bloodhound. Okay, I can play the stink bug at least, but I can't sack anything for the bullfrog. All right, let's play the stink bug. Send it. And I might just cut up the bloodhound, depending, but I'm gonna let it drink that at least. Um, <clears throat> how good would, how would, so the bullf, I might just cut that bloodhound up. Um, 
So I could play a squirrel and sag it for the bullfrog and then do one damage to that, but then it's just gonna die to the bloodhound, which is not very good. Um, I could draw a card and you see what I get, but it feels like my options are not super sick with that. So let's uh, let's draw a squirrel and then just cut the bloodhound. <laughs> let's see. Cockroach! Oh, out of space. I did not understand what the mule did. <laughs> I absolutely did not understand what the mule did. Uh, thus the reason the mule is key. Mm, I want some pack rats, honestly, so that I can... Uh, I want some pack rats so that I can just get some more items for later. Does it have to deal damage? Wait, how come my pack rat didn't give me an item? Did I have max items? No, right? How come it didn't give me an item? When a card drawing this digital is played, you receive a random item as long as your pack is not full. Oh, it's because I already played it. Oh, it can't. That would be crazy if it did it every time. I see. Okay, okay, okay. All right, I gotcha, I gotcha. Rattler. Boom. Send it. Look at that. Got all that extra. Cool. Oh, I did get an item. Wait, I didn't have that one. Yeah, it's whatever that one on the right is. I didn't have that one. For some reason, I thought I already had two items. Uh, you're the first in a while to overcome a boss. As a reward, you're granted an opportunity to select a rare card. Choose carefully. <coughs> I want more ants. I want an ant deck. Um... Strange larva. Are you an ant? A largely unimpressive specimen. But what does it grow into? It probably grows into something cool. Yeah. Uh, gek. You can find a use for it. I wonder what the gek's for. Moles! <laughs> Holy fuck, that's some shit right there. Um, burrower. When an empty space would be struck, a card bearing the sigil will move to that space to receive the strike instead. <coughs> gotcha. So it sneakily blocks. Burrower. I didn't! Oh, you pushed the wrong click. No, this needs a confirm. This game needs a fucking confirm button. All right, well, whatever. We're moling, I guess. I got mold. I did get mold. I grabbed the mole accidentally. I meant to right click and I left clicked. What is this one? Um, Blah, blah, blah. So dark. So dreary. The wetlands. All right, cool. Um, let's see. So we, if we go this way, then we have the option of, is this deleting a card from your deck, I wonder? I want to see what this one is because I don't know what it is yet. Let's go this way. <clears throat> I get more cards. A nascent raven. It is less conniving and it's incubated. Okay, so it grows into something. More bees. Fuck the river snapper. How does this work again? When it is struck, a bee is created. You just get infinite one ones whenever the beehive is struck. It doesn't sound bad, but it doesn't sound good either. Let's see what a raven is. I think I've already seen a raven, but I can't remember. All right, I want to see what this is. You came across some familiar stones or something different. Yeah, so... so I think you can just sack stuff here. <coughs> There's so much crap in my... Uh, the ants are cool, but I do worry that I don't have enough ants to really make them worthwhile. I wonder if I should just ditch my ants. Uh, I like having a couple bone things so that like not everything is a sacrifice. I feel like having some... <laughs> no way. Alright, fine. You silly thing. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna get rid of the worker ant because the queen ant's okay by herself. I just... I feel like I don't... I have too many cards and not enough ants. Even though the ants did well. The ants... We're going. Can I do one more? The Bone Lord was pleased. Oh. A minor boon of the Bone Lord. You restore each battle with one extra bone. Sweet! I wonder if I uh, sacrifice something stronger if I would have gotten a better thing. <laughs> Bullying Stoat is so funny. Alright, let's go. Oh, that one would have been a special fight, though, maybe. We got some furs. Cats! 
Yes, it does seem like you always start with a squirrel, which is very, very, very nice. Uh, wait, where do I want the cat? Um, I don't want the wing fisher to kill the cat, so let's probably put the cat over the stump. Oh, they have a beehive. Cool. I gotta see what this ability does. Water barn. Submerges itself during its opponent's turn. Opposing creature. Oh, okay, so I can't really attack it. So it's just gonna do constant damage to me, and I can't really attack it. <clears throat> What's the item I got? Hoggy bank. You'll immediately gain four bones. Cool. All right. I definitely want to get more pack rats rolling. Um, but we're going to have to wait a turn on that. Oh, no, I won't. Have, I don't. I forgot. I can stack the bullfrog. Um, yeah, because I can just play the... I can stack the cat for the bullfrog and then stack both for the pack rat. Would I prefer that versus just attacking? Because the bullfrog... Wait. The bullfrog can block this guy. Uh, but fuck it. <laughs> I want more items. I just got a squirrel. Fuck. All right, whatever. Send it. Oh yeah. Then they flip over. Cool, cool, cool. Let's see what we got. I want a moose. Well, I'm so sorry, Aunt Queen, for the things that have transpired. Uh, this one won't actually hurt me. Um, let's... Do I even want to hit this beehive? I could summon the ant queen right there, but then... Well, it's only going to make one bee, and then I'll have a bunch of ants rolling in hot. But I don't know. I feel like... Well, I got to do something, right? Uh, what does this one do? It's kind of a weird... It's kind of a weird situation with the fur. The fur will die eventually. I am doing more damage than they're doing to me. Whatever. I'm just going to use this. This, this is like semi-questionable, I feel like, because I'm just attacking into a beehive, but... Whatever. <laughs> oh, I get the bee? What? I thought they got the bee. Wait, what does this do? I don't understand what this did. Once a card bearing the sigil struck, a bee is created in your hand. I thought the bee would go to the owner of the beehive. Okay, whatever. Um, I can't get rid of this fur, right? I can't get rid of this fur. Mighty leap. Oh, uh, whatever. We'll just send it and wait. How do I? Oh, I have to draw a card, don't I? Okay, draw a card. More pack rats. I'm just going to send it. So many bees. Whoa, what's happening? Okay, finally that thing went away. So many cards. Greetings. Um, I want to play the pack rat probably so that I can get some more things. Oh, we can make more ant odd ants though. Are so tempting right now. Bees. I can't sack the bees though. I can sack you. <laughs> uh. Ah, let's just send it with the ants. This seems pretty good. Nerd. Nice. Alright. Doing pretty good, I think. You were stopped along the way by a trapper looking to liquidate his pelts. There's something uncanny about the appearance. Isn't this the prospector? What? Okay, um... So I can spend these extras that I did to <coughs> take a pelt free of charge. I got a rabbit pelt. What do the pelts do? Hello? See the quality? What do the pelts do? But I can also buy this. How many do I have? One. I don't have enough for this. Yeah, but I can buy a wolf pelt. Uh, what does the wolf pelt do? Oh, I bought that. What? Do I get it? Okay, I got I got both of them. Okay. The trader. Oh, so I could have Okay, I get it. I'm sort of investing for later. I see, I see. I want to learn what this one does. More so than anything else. 
This is just this one again. Oh, okay, cool. God, I never fucking remember this the name of this one. I never fucking remember the picture on this one, that's for sure. Is my moose gone? Does it specifically give it one of the stats of this? Oh, pelts? I can buff a pelt. Let's just see what this does. Does it make it a plus three pelt? What the hell did that do? I, did I just... It did look like it put... It did look like it put the blocking and the other... It looked like it put the abilities on the pelt, which is... Why is that an option? <laughs> oh my god. You could make a pretty wild ant. I want to make like an ant deck now, but it's so hard to make decks when it's all random. I don't know. But I guess that's the fun of it is sometimes you get one thing, sometimes you get another, and you gotta roll with... <coughs> okay, what is our fucking moose now? Bees! <laughs> There's bees within this moose! Holy shit. Alright, uh, what's coming at us? Bees! Um, okay, let's put the squirrel down and then sack it to the skink. The skink can take on some bees. Holy shit. <clears throat> okay, we need two more bones for the cockroach. And then I attempted to just draw two squirrels and drop the moose. I'm not gonna lie, but we'll see what happens. We'll see how it plays out. There's a bullfrog coming in hot, though. Um, temp I'm so tempted to do two squirrels for the fucking moose. Let's just do it. Oh, shit. <laughs> um, wait, what, are, what items do I have? How do I see my items? Do I have to, well, let's draw our squirrel. I just have these two items, right? Yeah, what's this one again? Oh, you immediately gained four bones. That probably could be helpful. Wait, why is, oh, I'm like flipping through the appendix, but it just goes directly to that one. Okay, I could take an extra turn too. Um, I'm gonna sack two squirrels for the moose. Sack fucking everything for the moose. Um, do I wanna kill the, what is the mantis? Oh, it attacks like multiple things. I wonder if it would deal too damage to me or not. The stump is in the way right there. Moose time. Um, I could just savage the bull. Do I want to get rid of the bullfrog or the mantis? I don't know what the I don't know exactly what the mantis is gonna do, so I'm just gonna go here and then send it. Send the moose. Oh, the moose goes right every turn. I'm stupid, by the way. God damn it. Oh man. Um. I can play the cockroach and that, so let's get that. The moose is loose. Bees. Bees can take on the bees. Uh, cockroach can take down the mantis. And we'll go with that. Sorry, moose, I'm stupid. Oh, the bees don't take on the bees. Where are there so many bees? Cat, hell yeah. You love to see it. <coughs> what happened? Okay, how does this work again? When I carbang this parachute. So I'm pretty sure if I sack it, I get more cockroaches. Yeah. <laughs> Were you as unfaltering as the cockroach? Um, let's play our cat, right? Yeah, we gotta play our cat. Oh, hopefully the cat doesn't. Is the cat gonna die? I didn't think this through. I think my cat's just gonna die. Oh well, uh, that's okay because we're gonna play. Oh shit, I can't play the cockroach. No! Uh, shit, I can't sack a bee, right? I can sack bees. I can sack bees. Hell yeah! Now we're t now we're cooking, and we can play another fucking cockroach. Let's go! Send it, wolf and moose coming in hot. Overkill damage. What's that? Excess damage is not wasted. It carries over to the card behind the mangled corpse of the victim. Oh. Does it? Does the cat not block? Does it not like? Or is that because it's flying? Oh, okay. It's just because it's flying. All right. What do we got? <laughs> All right. Alright, so we gotta find more stuff. I get it. I get it. I think I could just send. 
I could sack the cockroach for the stoat just to fucking have have the stoat have something to do. But do I really care? Send it. Huh. Take six damage, nerd. Imagine doing things when I could just attack with a moose buck. I guess doing extra damage, optimizing your extra damage is good so that you get those extra things. What's this one? There's like a whole path here or... What's this one? Let's do this one. You arrived at the inky black mouth of a cave. A strange beast. Pass one of my trials. Three creatures will be drawn from your deck. They will decide your success or failure. Come on, moose! Choose a trial. Trial of bones must cost at least... There's no fucking way. Oh, the three drawn cards must cost at least five bones. Must have at least six health combined. That's doable. Four blood combined. Oh, three cards, four blood. I have a couple two bloods, a bunch of two bloods, and a three blood. <clears throat> but five bones is not happening. I don't have enough. Six HP sounds like it could be the way to. Oh no, because a lot of them only have two and one. And... Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I can look at my deck. Oh, that's pretty nice. Um. Yeah, I think we're gonna rule out bones because I would have to draw the cockroach to win that and that's not happening. All right, so ruling out bones. How much defense do we have? I mean, I think we go for the defense one. We got a lot of, there's a lot of options that would work for the defense one. And then the blood one, how does that go? I think the blood one we would lose. Can I draw the pelts? Can I seriously draw the pelts or is that just trolling me? I think we go for this one. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, let's go. The beast revealed itself. It was a raven. Oh, but it's got a bonus ability on it. Oh no, these are mine. Oh, I can fuck. I can pump the. I can pump the moose even harder. I love how unkillable. Oh wait, are these new buffs? Oh, I wait. No, this is a new card, isn't it? This wait. Uh, when a card bearing this sigil is sacrificed, it does not perish. Ant spotter. <laughs> oh, I, I, one, one day I, w I want the god ant deck some so bad. I don't know if I want two moose box. I can't tell if this is replacing mine with a better buff on it. Um, having it die and then a copy create in my hand is not that useful because it costs three more sacrifices again. Um, ant spawning raven egg. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, when a card... When a card bearing the sigil is sacrificed, it... Oh! Does not perish. Yeah, I like that. I'll get this one. Um, uh, the inhabited oh. raven. Alright, cool. Here we go. Uh, some bone tokens for a rainy night. A gust from this may lift your creatures into the air. Okay, so you can be flying for a little bit. That could be useful. What's this one again? Immediately gain four bones. It's not that. Uh, let's let's get the flying one. So we can. So we can do some fat damage. I could like go. F I could like double attack. Oh, I guess it's only for a turn though. I have the one that gives me an extra turn. I've just been saving it. Let's go. Flying moose. Alright, so creatures go to the right. Oh, we, we, maybe I should have. I should have gone with the raven ants. <laughs> Alright, um, what do you got there? A bunch of wing fishers and a coyote. Um, I'll probably let the coyote deal two damage to me and hit it later. How does the raven egg work again? I gotta wait a turn. Might just get the raven cooking. Um, I just get the raven cooking. Where do I want the raven? Can the egg be hit? I think it probably can be, but it can take a hit. 
Can it take two hits? Does it have to take two hits? I don't quite understand. One. We're going over fire creature after one turn on the board. So I'm assuming I put it. I'm hoping if I put it on the turn, if I put it on the board this turn, and it gets hit by a wing fisher next turn, it'll take one damage, and then a turn will have gone by, and it'll be a raven. But if it doesn't work like that, then eternal sadness. <laughs> Okay, let's try the raven egg and let's hope it works the way that I think it works. Oh, it doesn't even get hit because these are flying. Okay, that's right. And then they just do that stuff. Okay, cool. We got our raven. Um, <clears throat> uh, do I want to sack something and just drop the skink? Just Yeah, I think I'm going to do that just to kill the coyote real fast. I'm just going to ensure that that coyote gets out of here. I'm just going to drop the skink there and kill the coyote. I want it gone. <clears throat> River otter, huh? Okay. Um, this isn't my immortal raven, though. Sadly. What does the river otter do? Oh, these are like bunched up here. Looks like it's just swimming. So it looks like they just got a lot of swimming stuff that's gonna keep hitting me, but I'm gonna keep hitting them too. So I think that's fine. I'll just draw whatever. Ooh, there's my sick raven. Nice. Um, just a matter of getting to it. Maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll do something next turn. But I'm doing a lot of damage. <clears throat> but also taking a lot of damage. <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna... Do I wanna sack the skink for my sick raven? Uh, I think probably. Probably gonna sack my skink for the sick raven. Raven army! Oh god. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> okay, um. Do I wanna draw two things for my ant queen or. I don't know if it matters that much. Oh, good. I got the opossum. I can drop that. I don't think I want to hit this one for one. So I'll just do the extra damage instead. <coughs> no. Like those ravens, I guess. Alright. Oh, yeah. New card. Uh, okay. Bullfrog is... Well, raven deck! <laughs> Um, a fervid, the, the fervid mantis, it's prying claws. Oh yeah, strike both left and right. <coughs> you could like double kill two coyotes with that shit. What are, I wonder why these have little things in front of them. I wonder what that means. Maybe it's because I already have them or I've gotten them before. I've never gotten a mantis. Um, yeah, I'm a little worried about just having a deck full of ravens. Let's try the mantis out. Betcha, betcha, betcha. A group of starving survivor. Yeah, okay. What does this one do again? There's room for a creature. Uh, enhance its health. Okay. So we can buff up the health plus two of something. Um, it's just health, though. So what's something that's like does some good damage, but you don't want it to die? <laughs> Mantis, maybe, could be interesting. I think that's the thing that I'm like the most worried about it dying. Wolves are pretty nice too to buff up, I guess. I would say the wolf or the mantis sounds good. Let's. The cat can't die, right? Um... I'll do the wolf. 3 4 wolf sounds pretty nice. coming clutch. All right. Is this another boss? The boss of the second zone? I wonder how many zones there are. Yeah, here we go. The smoke. All right. Um, do, 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 do. Hold a hook. Okay, we got a fisher person. The angler. Go fish. Oh, we got, the, we got some hot moose action coming in, though. 
Ah, uh, can't block. Dang it. I got. S Wait, no. Can the smoke block flying? No, smoke can't block flying, right? Uh, so I don't know what to do with the smoke yet, so we'll hold on to that. Oh, we got a cat. We got a squirrel cat combo coming in hot, though. Play the squirrel. Sack the squirrel for the cat. Um, we can get out our stoat. Stoat block flying? No. But that's okay. Whatever. Uh, get out our stoat. And then soon we'll have our, our moose buck coming. We can just sack all three for the moose buck next turn. Um, let's see. We have, you immediately gain four bones, not useful. And your adversary will entirely skip their next turn. So we could like go in hot and fast with that and like take another turn. I could take another turn, grab a squirrel, sack the stoat for a moose buck. <coughs> hmm. I'm taking another turn. All right, we're gonna swing with the stoat. I'm obligated to pass. Let's try it. Let's try it. Squirrel, moose buck, dun dun dun. Send in the moose. Moose moves right. I don't know how much that's gonna affect anything, but whatever. When a card bang the sigil dies. Oh my gosh, can you sack the smoke? <laughs> I'm gonna be so salty if you can sack the smoke. Ah, uh, fuck me. Alright, I assumed that it had to be attacked, but I might be stupid. Fish, fish, hard, choose. Oh god, what's gonna happen? Alright, so now here come the stupid abilities. I'm excited. <clears throat> you can draw the wolf belt! I see. So they clog your deck up, but don't do anything. Can I sack it, maybe? What happens if I play the wolf? Fucking, I don't know, man. Fresh fish. What's happening? I don't know what's happening. All right, FBF fam. All right, here comes phase two. Go fish. Bait bucket, what is happening? Oh my God. Can I sack my wolf pelt? Nope, but I can sack the smoke and the cat. Or a hot raven. And that's my many lives raven as well, so. Send it. Great white. Oh, fuck me, dude. Uh, I could kill it at least. Oh, it goes under there though. That's some fucked up shit going on here. It's some fucked up shit. Why did I play the wolf pelt, dude? I didn't know what would happen with the wolf pelt. I didn't know. I didn't know. It's so trolly. Hi, Golden. Okay, uh, I'm gonna fly over this fucking bait bucket's hot ass and then not, not go fish again. Let's fly over the bait bucket. Oh, it's gonna. F the raven was gonna fly over it anyway. Get out of here. <laughs> uh, easy game, you just drop the immortal moose on turn one. Let me choose a rare card. All right, I didn't know what the bait buckets would do until it was too late, child 13. Uh, I'm not okay with this. The moles are back! Strange larva. I didn't- I keep fucking left clicking when I want to right click. I wanted to read its ability, damn it. Uh, you considered one of the anglers catches as a meal, but the rank odor deterred you. Dinner would have to wait. Haha, <laughs> so dark. Oh my god, so edgy. Alright. Nice. Uh, frigid gust of wind billowed. Alright. The beauty of the falling snow to distract you from the chill in your bones. <laughs> All right, well, I can't wait to accidentally get the wrong card. A metalsome bat. I feel like a couple more bone cards would be good, but oh my god, I just want to sack things and have fat grizzlies. We're just going all fat. This is just all fat. That's what this deck is. Is this destroy a card? It might be good, but I'm out of items, so let's get some items. 
Create a frozen opossum. Oh, this is the... Okay, this one is four bones. What does the frozen opossum do? Um, frozen opossum find as zero power, five health. So it's just like you can have it block shit if you want. I wonder if I could sack it. Probably could sack it. So it's like a slightly better squirrel. Is that better than four bones? I mean, I'm not doing much with bones right now, so I'm gonna take the possum. Do I get another item? Oh, I got another item. More. I'm, this is all possums all the time now, because I can sack them for my big fatties. I don't know. Um. Okay, we're going this way. Right. Uh, yeah, you always do start with a squirrel, but it's a shame I don't have <laughs> uh, elk fawn. Well, we can play a bullfrog. We can play a nice bullfrog. I probably should have. I probably should have just done. Wow, well, whatever. Elk fawn. Oh, it turns. Will grow into a more powerful thing. Can I? Does that mean I'm gonna be able to kill it though if I put this here? I don't know. Next turn, kill it before it turns into an elk. Oh, it moves! Ah! All right. Uh, shit. Elk is. She. Oh, we're getting overrun by elk. We're dead. We're dead. We're dead right now. We're fucking dead. Um. I did not. I did not understand the task at hand. This, this arrow right here. So this, these two run into each other. That's interesting. It's because they're running around because they're elk. Get it? Lore. Uh, do I want to just guarantee a squirrel and sack some shit? I really want a cat, though. Can sack some frozen opossums, maybe? Let's just draw a cat. Oh, oh! Oh, come on! That was almost glorious! Wait, will it be, though? Uh, I will only destroy one of them, though. Oh, man. Oh man! All right, I need I need you more than ever, frozen opossum. So, what is ice? When a carp bang this perishes, the creature inside is released. Oh, that sounds good. So, what if I play the frozen opossum, and then I sack it to the man? This isn't a worthy sacrifice. No! <laughs> Um, well, that's unfortunate. Uh, well, I feel like I need to kill one of these elks. Uh, so I'm gonna just put my mantis here so it doesn't die next turn and then do that. And then just get absolutely rolled. Oh, fuck me. Um, well, the mantis can't take on the elk, so I'm probably sacking that mantis, sadly. Uh, can the wolf even kill an elk? Actually, the wolf will be okay because I increase. Damn, increasing the wolf's health ended up being pretty clutch there, I think. Let's draw a squirrel. Mm, it's gonna go to the right, though, which is obnoxious. Maybe I'll just take on this one because this one's stuck here. Uh, I play a squirrel. Let's get our wolf out. Um, I wish I could move the opossum. I know it's kind of bad. I'm kind of fucked up with the opossums. And there's more elk coming in hot over here, which is also not. So I wonder which the order is here. Is this when it attacks? At the end of the owner's turn. Okay. So this will come out and these both will get stuck here. Uh, but I mean, I'm pretty fucked. I didn't, I didn't understand how this works and I didn't act accordingly. I don't know. Let's just drop our frozen opossum and pray. Oh good, more elks. I just fucking slamming. I'm getting slammed with elks right now. Um, at least those frozen opossums will do something, but yeah, I think that'll at least. Uh, do I want to just? I'm just gonna grab two. Oh shit, I'm not gonna be able to sack the squirrel. I don't even know. I don't even know. I'm dumb. Oh, it goes past it. That's right. I was hoping the frozen opossums would come out, because I can't sack it until it's. Damn it, I wanted to sack that, but I'm stupid. Not the pelts! <laughs> I'm stupid. It's The wolf is gonna die. Oh my god. I messed up. 
Oh, the opossums are shit, too. I forgot how shit the opossums are. Uh, alright, well... I don't think even you can help us right now. Ay 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 ay. We're dead. I think we're just straight up dead. I think I'm gonna. There's a moose buck coming in hot too. This has gone on too long. We're getting annihilated. All right, this is GG. This is GG. I'll at least be able to kill this one, and then we're gonna get a new possum out of this, and then we're gonna do a little bit of damage so I don't die next turn, maybe. Yeah. And then I can kill that one next turn, but we're fucked. So fucked. At least that moose buck is built up behind that elk. Um. I'll be able to kill that one, but we're just dead. I'm not going to deal with that moose. I got to draw something good, but I don't think I have anything. Back rat to save me! Maybe! Oh, I can't even play it, though. Wait, can I can I sack this? Card does not perish. Hold on, I can sack that. I forgot. Uh, Alright, wait, 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 wait. Uh, probably. Do I need to tank the hit? No, I'll just deal two damage over here instead of tanking the hit because it's just gonna die. All right, come on. No! <laughs> What's this one? You immediately gain four bones. God damn it, dude. What does this do again? It's just one extra damage to hit. Yeah, it's like might keep me alive a turn or something. I'm l I just realized by killing this elk and then this one shifts, I'm letting the moose buck in. It would have been even it would have been better to not kill this one and just let the moose stay there, I guess. Um Well we can do an extra damage over here by sacking the raven again. Okay. This doesn't do anything, right? I don't even know. Can it block? I guess I should test if it can block. It says it has a health. Does that mean it can block? I don't fucking know. Oh shit. The raven has flying. I'm not gonna kill it because it has flying. Wait, this is actually good for me. I'm so stupid. I forgot the raven has flying, so this is actually a great situation right here. The larva can take a hint. The larv the larva can take a hit from the elk. <laughs> is sacrificed it'll still die shit it's when it's sacrificed send it oh, come on no strange pupa what are you uh, ah! <laughs> what is it gonna do what is it gonna do? What does it all mean? Oh my god. I mean, I'm gonna survive until it does its thing. My pack rat's gonna get owned. Do I sack stuff for the moose? I don't think so. Be <laughs> fucking hell. Uh, that, though the moose is gonna come in hot though. The, mu the moose is gonna come in hot. But I wanna know, is the moose just gonna kill the if the moose is gonna kill this no matter what, then I may as well sack it. But how much- let's see, I'm only doing one damage. I wish I could tell how much this- imagine if it dies in one hit- is that one away from winning? I can't tell. I can't tell. Oh my god. Oh, it's this! It's this, I'm two away, right? I, I need one, two? I think. So then we gotta, we gotta do the moose sack. If I understand correctly, and I might not, at the end of the owner's turn. So next turn, the moose is coming in hot. It's gonna kill my strange thing anyway. But even if I unleash the, wait, I can unleash the moose and do three damage and win. Like a fucking not idiot. I can just unleash the moose! Let's go! <laughs> unleash the moose! Oh, this game's fun. This game's really fun. Oh, shit. What is this? 
My deck is full of just tr absolute trash. It's like bloated. My deck is massively bloated. <clears throat> you encountered a small outpost in the woods tended by a mysterious woman. It was the traitor! My pelts! Oh, I should have gotten more pelts. If only I'd gotten more pelts. I can get moles. <clears throat> um, Alpha, what does this do? Take your time. Okay, what does this do? Creatures adjacent. Shit, that's nice. I need more stuff with bones because I'm not using bones right now. I'm like too blood heavy. So I think I'm I'm liking that. Um, oh, I really like the wolf cubs. Wolf cubs seem really good. Just to like, you can overrun fast with wolf cubs. If you get like a cat and just wolf cubs and wolves, you can just overrun so fast. Um, let's see. I do enjoy raven eggs. Mole strats. I'm gonna take the alpha. I need more bone stuff and maybe I can... Oh, wolf. <laughs> Look at my buffs on the wolf pelt. I'm so upset about these buffs on this fucking wolf pelt. <gasps> did the buffs transfer? It does, did buffing the wolf pelt make these guys have buffs? Oh, I kind of want that elk fawn. Those elks are pretty hot, I'm not gonna lie. What do you have? Does this give me an item? Whenever this is played, you receive a random item as long as you pay. Okay, yeah. A coyote that gives me items is pretty sick too, but what's the beaver do? Uh, dam builder. A dam is built on an adjacent space. Oh my God, you could just have, you can make some silly decks and I love, okay, I love the, the silly deck ideas. Oh good, ringworm. Uh, count it as three blood. Oh my Oh, but it does cost one blood to get it going though, but that's okay You could drop a fucking turn one moose with that. That's like a dark. That's practically dark ritual. All right That is just dark ritual that ringworm um, Let's see rat king. Oh shit. I want to why do you have bees in you? <laughs> like how everything can oh my god a flying moose uh, okay, so I'm leaning towards getting some more bone things with the coyote. <clears throat> bone King. Four bones when it dies. It's only a one four though when it builds a bunch of dam. Now, if I could sack the dams, and I don't think I can though. <clears throat> I do like having the many lives ravens too. Like a swarming with just a whole bunch of like, just having like a bunch of cats and many live ravens just sacking each other into more ravens. I like that a little bit. Um, I really like the items. It's I really like having a bunch of stuff that still gives me items, but maybe I already have enough of that. I think I might take, I, I don't get the bee still. Bee is created. I gotta, I gotta pay more attention to the bees. Mm. Let's see. Hard decision for me here. I'm gonna take the ringworm because I have a lot of fat already. Right. Um, yeah, fun fact, I used to play a lot of magic. I actually got a scholarship to college from playing magic. Which one is this? I can't, oh, I'm so bad at seeing these. So fire is buff something. This is get an item. Wish I could check my um, items. I can't remember what this is, so I'm gonna keep doing this. It's probably the one I always forget what it is. Yeah, it's the one I always forget. <laughs> it's okay. One of these days, I'm gonna learn. Uh, I, I haven't played Magic in a long time, though. I just play Commander for fun every now and then. Uh, what do we want to buff? So I could give something pack. Holy shit. I could have, like, a fucking... Oh, but will it replace it or add to it? Yo, what if you have like a pack cockroach and you just keep replaying your pack cockroach? Uh, it's probably not that good. <laughs> Marvelous. Mm. I was a frequent 03 Friday Night Magic participant. Uh, I don't have more cards in this. I guess it's not. It doesn't let you pick from all of them. Um. Okay. I could also give something the sack. No, I don't want that. Um, okay, I like... What do I not really want? The strange larva. I didn't see what it actually turns into, so I'm going to keep it. I like the alphas. Ant Queen just by herself in the middle of a random deck feels a little out of place. So I'm thinking about just getting rid of all my ants here. <clears throat> 
I think we're gonna... Oh, no, it, it's not get rid of it. It would give something else the ant ability. I mean, <clears throat> that's not so good. What is the tail ability? Would be struck. A tail is created in its place, and it moves to the right. So it basically evades an attack. <clears throat> but I wonder if the tail also, like, takes the attack. I think it probably does. Stinky. Maybe I get rid of this guy, because it's kind of like, eh... But then I have to deal with... What does the cockroach do? A copy is created. Unkillable. Probably get rid of the cockroach and put unkillable on something else. Uh, what ability would be really good? I also like the idea of putting the pack rat ability on something else. Let's put the pack rat ability on something else. What can we put it on? Um... <laughs> Will it add it to the... That would make my cat so OP. Just... I'm assuming it won't do it every time you sack the cat, but that would be nuts. I have to try this. I hope it doesn't replace it. I hope it adds to it. I need... I need to just pay attention. Okay. Every t if every time I sack the cat, it gives me an item, that would be nuts. I assume it's not going to work that way, but I need to... I need to know. I need to know if Pack Cat is a thing. Cat! <laughs> Let's go! Alright, uh, what do we have here? Oh, more elk bullshit happening. Okay, so these guys are gonna, at the end of the turn... <clears throat> so they're gonna come down, attack me for one, and then move to the right. Um... Okay, well this is good. We can get some shit out. Let's get that out, and then let's sack it for the cat. Um, we're gonna get an item, which is nice. They're gonna eventually end up on the right side. Will they kill my cat? They can't, right? Because of its ability? I'm operating into the assumption- Oh, get an item. Sick. Okay. Um, the raven will survive, I believe, if I just put it- It'll take a hit anyway. Let me read. Is sacrificed. Fuck. <laughs> uh, I really wish you could read the thing. Oh, I guess I could have just gone back or something. Well, we're dead. Um, GG Pack Cat. Let's see if we get another item. All right, what are my items here? Me and the game for bones. Those are my only items, right? Yeah, those are my only items. Well, we get to see if the sa we at least get to test the sack strat here. Because we can sack the cat for the raven egg. And I was, I'm was i just going to put the raven off to the side. When the card bank, this sigil is played. Okay, because it's not getting played. It's just coming back to life. It does not perish. Okay, I see. Well, we can put out the stink bug. It can take a hit and then it'll... <clears throat> kill one of those things. Let me make sure I understand this. These two... These two are going to come down... Oh, the stink bug, actually. No, why the fuck didn't that one move? Why the fuck didn't that one move? God damn it. Didn't it have a right word? It's because it bonked into the... I'm pretty sure it was right the first time. Oh, the... Is the direction random? Oh my god. Or, so I can't tell if what happened is this one activated first and then move. But did they activate at the same time? This one moved, this one bonked the other one and turned around the other way? That's about all I got. Either way, we're fucked. Um, let's see what we get. Alpha. Oh shit, what does this do again? Creatures adjacent gain a power. Oh shit. I just need some bones. Can I get bones from this thing? We're going in. And we're sending with the stick bug. Send it. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. All right. What's this one? I've most ex no, I don't want any more pounds. No more pounds. <clears throat> oh man, I can buy a wolf pelt. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Or I can wait for the golden pelt. The first 
first one's free. I feel like I want to wait for the golden pelt. Is it a bad thing to be getting these rabbit pelts? I'm fill I'm filling my deck with crap to get these rabbit pelts. Can I just not take one? Can I leave? Can I decline the offer? I don't think I can decline the offer. I'm gonna save up. Hmm. I have some pack items. Is this the harder encounter? Literally zero ability to remember what that stuff does. This is just buff, normal fight. I think instead of getting more cards, I want to buff the cards I have. Or wait, I might be stupid. That wasn't cards. Never mind, I'm dumb. Whatever. Um. Okay, we can enhance the power or something. That's okay. Um, uh, pack red. Uh, oh, buff our wolf even more. I feel like spreading out my stuff is pretty good. Having a, th a three damage flyer sounds really nice. Uh, I'm gonna buff my raven. JK. I'm gonna buff my raven. Uh, Alright, here we go. Uh, oh, we got the cat. Let's go. Is this more elk fawn bullshit? Okay, so la so what I thought was gonna happen was I thought both would move down They would attack and then both would move right what happened last time is both moved down They attacked and then one of them moved left and one of them moved right. I think um, Why is there a frozen opossum right there? So I don't know how to play the cat without having the cat die Soon Oh, if I would have given the cat a power, at least could have like fought back. It's actually a good point. Um, uh, ooh, this is interesting. Oh, I need more bones, but it's okay. Maybe we'll, uh, how do I save the cat? Because they're both gonna attack here, so the only place I can really, well, okay, whatever. I'm just gonna put the cat here and we're gonna see what fucking happens. It'll at least last two turns. Uh, oh, is this the one that gives me more bone? Wait, oh, it's more opossums! <laughs> Why do I have so many frozen opossums? No, no, not like this. Not like this. This is not... <laughs> this is exactly what I don't want to happen. <laughs> no. I mean... Do I... It's just gonna take one damage. Fuck. This is not what I want at all, but let's go. That did do the same thing as it did last time. Okay. Uh, do I want to sack something here? No, because if I sack two things for... You can't sack for nothing, can you? Oh, yeah. Fuck you. Uh, you can't sack for nothing, can you? Oh shit, all right, well we got that rolling out soon. Oh, but the cat's gonna die, I'm so sad. So sad. Uh, so very sad. <laughs> no, this is gonna get elked. I'm gonna get elked. All right, kill my fucking possums already. I'm just gonna sack a whole bunch of po- Fucking shit! Get them out of here! Oh my god, dude. Elks are gonna get. We're getting owned. I need to sack stuff, but. Oh. I'm gonna wait on the. I don't even know. What am I even doing? Do I want one damage? No, because it's gonna die to the fawn. I wanna kill that fawn next turn. I don't want the possum to die. Well, I can play a cockroach actually if it dies. Oh, fuck it. I'm gonna let the possum just die and then play a cockroach. Good lord. <clears throat> alright, we might be boned. Ringworm! <laughs> uh, alright, well, that's a thing that exists. I could sack it for three. Alright, maybe that's clutch. Wait, it wasn't clutch. Because I have nothing! 
I can't play it. Uh, if only I hadn't played that possum last turn. Hopefully that's that's probably enough to kill me. Yeah. Rip. Oh, rip. Uh, I should have not played the possum. I didn't think of it right. I forgot I was gonna take two bones. Yeah, I, I thought we had more bones than that. The possum cost two bones. Well, we didn't die, but I mean, I think that usually means you're on your way out. I don't know. Reginald. <laughs> oh, fucking what? When I carve any central damage on a creature, a creature. Okay, so it always kills stuff. Uh, I mean, do we want more grizzlies? We've got a lot of grizzlies. Uh, this could come in clutch. As like a, we just drop that as like an elk killer. I don't know, maybe, maybe we can like massively cheese a really good enemy with that. I feel like we gotta go for it. Okay, I finally understand the image. You can see you sack one to make one more powerful. Uh, let's snag some items. And then let's die to the boss. No more bond on that. I hate these pros and opossums. I actually like the squirrel. I feel like the squirrels are so much better. Just give me my big creatures sooner. These fucking possums. Uh, man, you recognize it was the trapper. Today you will supply the. <laughs> Yo, Reginald coming in hot to supply the pelts. Strange frogs. Leaping trap. Oh god, it's gonna move. Uh, when it perishes, the creature opposing it perishes as well. A pelt is created in your hand. Oh my god. <clears throat> Alright, well that's shit. Let's just stay away from that, maybe. Oh, a card bearing the sigil will block an opposing creature bearing the airborne sigil. Okay. So it can block flying. Uh, yo, we can start off with some hot pack rat action, though. And oh, we can get our strange larva cooking, too. Yo, let's go. Alright, we're gonna drop some squirrels. Get our. Wait, is our larva just gonna die? We can't cook the larva. No, we can put the larva opposite the trap. Easy game. The larva opposite the trap, and then it's gonna turn into the thing and then die immediately to the trap. Great play, Carl! Alright, um, fucking, we got squirrels coming in hot and ready. Squirrels are so hot and so ready for this pack rat action. We can, oh, we can't hit the frog, right? Is it, no, they can block flying, it's not actually flying. We'll block and oppose. Yeah, okay, so we can fuck up one of the frogs with the pack rat. And then we can fuck up the other one with Reginald. Let's go, Reggie! Boom, oh, motherfucker! Well, that sucks. <laughs> well, that sucks. Um. I don't know what I was supposed to do about that shit. Uh, <laughs> Does that do what I wanted it to do? Please, I mean, yo, I mean, fucking whatever. Good luck. I don't know what else to do. Also, come on, why didn't the mantis go first? Oh, it's left to right. You should have an order of operations there. I should. Ah! <laughs> Mothman! You're gonna fly into the trap, Mothman! Don't do it! Oh! It doesn't matter because it still blocks it. And we got a bunch of shit ass wolf pelts in our hand. We're dead. Just mega dead. Can the wolf pelts block? I need to know the answer to this. I can't sack the wolf pelts. We're just dead. Mothman! Come on, if this could hit for seven! I hate this game, dude. I hate this game. <laughs> they can block at least. So we can fucking... At least the pelts can block. Stink bug. Uh, not good. Um... I think we block with this and then GG go next. I don't know, let's see what we draw. We got hella bones though. Do I want, uh, 
How badly do I want to play the wolf? I think I kill their wolf with my wolf. And then I... Do I have enough life to take two? Yeah, I can take two. So I think I draw a squirrel, sack it in the sink bug for the wolf and kill their wolf. Because killing that wolf is super important right now, I think. Um, any items? I need to... Uh, yeah, I'm going to do that. Oh, I have the flying one. That's okay. I think I do that and that and then sack these and do that and kill their wolf. Ah, oh, an adder, of course. Why wouldn't it be an adder? Oh, nice teeth. Yo, Dan, hello. Lucky draw, you know that's a lie, you little shit. Uh, well, at least I can tip the scales for three with this hit, but... Uh, four hour. Thank you so much for the gift subs. Alright, we're tipping the scales a little bit. Maybe I can fly out. Oh, it dies. Does it just... It has death touch, right? Dude, every good creature I had, there was some crazy-ass shit that auto-killed it. Every fucking time, dude. Oh, my God. Um... First time you play this game. I don't know what a gold thingy is yet, Trip. Uh, this is my first time playing it. I have so many bones, dude. I need to draw some bone cards. But you know I'm not gonna draw bone cards. I'm gonna draw nothing. I feel like I should just sack my goddamn squirrel, kill the adder, then lose on the next turn anyway. I don't know. Oh! oh! <laughs> uh, it doesn't matter. Fucking rabbit pelt, good. Alright, get out of here, Stout. Fucking another adder replaces it. Oh, dude, just end me. Oh. End me. <laughs> oh, this is a game that I'm gonna get massively addicted to. The fan gives my creatures flying. Dude, the, the traps were terrible. The traps were absolutely terrible. Yeah, that was our second run. All right, attempt number three. Ugh, I guess we should unlock the extra stuff. I wish I could set my deck a little more though in the beginning because I've gotten all these extra cards, but then it's like, I don't want all of them in my deck. Afraid you're not. Oh yeah, wait, we can get a special card. Right, right, we can get a special card from this. Okay, maybe we can try to do this well this time. Okay, get your camera, blah, 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 yeah, 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 oh, you think I would leave film in there, blah, 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 yeah, 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 all right, your death card, so what this does is choose a card to draw the cost from, so we want something with a low cost, um, and then we want to make it really good for that cost, right, so that'll just cost one, yeah, Okay, uh, power and hell. Oh my god, Grizzly, let's fucking go. Oh, 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 we'll extract the sigils. Oh, that's the stuff that it has. Oh my god, powers up stuff left and right. Let's fucking. This is OP as shit. Or I could pack rat it too. I think either alpha or pack rat are both great. Let's do fucking alpha and just swing. Giga bear! <laughs> Giga bear! <laughs> Giga bear! <laughs> uh, a force. This is actually kind of OP. Yay! No, oh, let's go, Giga bear. I can't wait to drop that turn one and then have it just immediately get like trapped and addered. It's gonna be great. All right. A gift from the angler. He was defeated recently and wishes to redeem himself. It would be unfortunate if you were to fall to the prospector before he was given that chance. The hook is powerful. You may steal one of my cards with it. <coughs> you will not find any others along the path. Ooh, so we have like a special item. What? Stink bug. Do I want a stink bug? What am I doing? I like wolves a lot. I don't want to. Why does it let you do that without telling you fucking anything, dude? This game is toxic. This game is low-key toxic because it never has a do you wish to do this thing you don't know you're doing. 
I think it was giving me a wolf card. Uh, oh, it was just showing the deck. Thank fuck. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Thank fuck. Can I leave and go solve more puzzles? Okay. We open this shit. We still don't... Squirrel and worker ant. Is that what those were for? It might have been. Oh. This is an attack, isn't it? Hmm. How would I do something useful with this? This is like showing a hand. Well, so the ant would deal one damage and the squirrel would do no damage. So it's like do one damage. But okay, I don't know how to make use. How to, I don't know how to make sense of that. We haven't solved the clock puzzle yet. Um. My only idea on the clock puzzle is this thing says appendix 12, which is something you can do, like you can set it to 12 o'clock. And so I was thinking these are three numbers and some of them might fit. And maybe there's one of these that has like a clock on it, but I'm too lazy to do that right now. So, um, da, 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 skull, spin, spin, skull. Oh yeah, maybe I shouldn't do that. Wait, look, that's like going into that. I keep putting these candles out. Maybe I shouldn't. Mm, okay, we've already opened the first two of these. We haven't opened this one yet. And if we want the scale, we want to do five DPS. Can I move this one back? No. Can I do five damage to either side or does it have to be to the upside? Um, I can do that. Oh, can I move this one down? No, I can't move this one at all. So I don't think this has any effect on anything. Oh, is this number of ants in play though? So maybe it'll deal damage equal to the number of ants in play. Uh, but I'm so confuzzled. Are there, are there five ants? One, two, three, four ants. But I can't do any more damage. Let's see what it says. No damage was dealt. Mm, this would deal two damage. Where's the thing here? I can't move this one. So none of that matters. That only deals two damage, though. How does that still do two damage? The two right here? Oh, this is just not changing the amount of damage. I'm so confuzzled as to how I can affect. How does that deal three damage? I still don't understand what this is doing, I've realized. I understand now. Okay, when I attack here, this one's tail is falling off and it's moving to the right and it's blocking also on the right. So it's blocking here with its tail and here with itself. And that's why this one is better to not attack at all. Um, and so on this side though this one's flying so it's always just gonna deal three what does this do it just does the one damage uh and this just does the one damage and this just does the one damage so i want the two flying damage to go over right here oh there's one right here <laughs> it's dark i didn't see there's my other two damage okay oh did i get owned by something wait what am i doing it's because i need another ant any more ants, maybe? Uh, does that change the amount? Of, okay, that's four damage. I definitely want it there. What is this? Oh, that's just the other one. Okay. Um, this won't work because it. I don't understand. It does. It can't block this one, but it's not doing. This is adding an extra ant. Maybe this will actually work like this, because this is more ants, so that this one's doing like hella DPS over here. So it's two here and three here. And uh, this one goes there, this one goes there, but you can't block here because it's flying. So this one flies over for two, and this one deals three for the three ants to fly. Hey, there we go. Nice. Um, Cage Wolf. Hmm. Curious. Okay, let's try to do this one. Um. I don't know what this, we're gonna have to go read that symbol because, no, this attacks every direction. This attacks the two adjacent directions. Does that mean it deals two damage though? Um, if I just attack with this one only, does this deal one damage? It does, so it actually hits through. That's cool. Buffs apply to this or to this if it's all three are kind of cracked. So it deals one damage here and one damage there. And I can move this one back. Can't move this one back. Uh, Still only two because hitting this one is also causing it to block. Is it blocking two of these, I think? So I'm, I'm only getting two damage through right here. Um, I 
in which situation would I want this to be here? Maybe I don't understand still. Uh, okay. This one. Sharp quills. Once a card bang... Oh, it's not what I thought. I thought it was the three-way attack. Once a card bang this is struck, uh, the striker is then dealt a single... Oh, so you just want to... I see. You want to, like, multi-hit all of the... You want to multi-hit all of these things. Uh, so this one's actually going to deal two damage. One there and one there, I believe. And this one will deal one damage here. Two, three, four, five... <laughs> nope, don't understand something. Oh, am I getting, I think I might be getting owned by this still. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna come back to that one when I learn more about the game. Um, I don't think I could pick this up before. Putting that out is still something I don't know what does. You finally pried my special dagger from the paws of that squirrel, though you may wish you hadn't. Oh, good. <laughs> <coughs> Great. Um, wolf was caged. Yeah, but we've had wolves that weren't caged. It's. It seems like there's some randomness when you start, which is cool. Gem activated. I can't grab one of these this time. And there's nothing in here this time. Squirrel, Bloodhound. Bloodhound is what the dude always has. Hmm. What do I do with the dagger? What do I do with this? What do I do with you? Hmm. Gotta find another code. Three digit code that could have. I can't get these guys. Let's go to like the first page in the book. What's the very first page? Or does it, it might loop on itself. I think it's looping. <laughs> yeah, it loops. Okay, it loops. Um, at some point I'll spend more time looking at those. I have the dagger. It's just an item. Okay, whatever, let's go. Whoa, what's that? More of this. Um, this is the type of card, right? So this will give me a wolf card. I like the, oh, it's coyote though, okay. And then we can buff up one of our cards or is this, is this, is this a sacrifice? It does, it, this is the other one. What's this one again? I can't recall what this one is. Bones of an ancient woman. Right, okay. This is this thing. Okay, oh my god. So, but, okay, okay. So we can. Why can't I select with that one? I can't read that one. Uh, ooh. So we can have all of our. We can have like flying bears or something like that. <laughs> what is this one? Are these the head pieces? So this is the base and this is the head piece. So this is ants or serpents or flying. We could have flying, flying wolves. <laughs> Cause I don't think I have ants or serpents right now, but flying isn't really what I want. And it also might not get wolves. Uh, okay, I'll take flying. And then we need to get her again to piece it together. I see, okay. All right, let's see if we can do better this time. What does the dagger do? Special dagger. To use, you will place a weight on the scale. Wait, special dagger. To the user, you will place a weight on the scale. I wonder what it does. I wonder if it's single use. I wish I knew. Hmm. Okay, so we got some coyotes and some porcupines coming out hot. I miss my cat. I want the cat again. Um, I still don't know the like best way to start some of these, to be honest. 
It's gonna deal three damage to me. I could deal one with the bullfrog, but then I'm using my... I do have the squirrel. I could just go immediately with the wolf with the squirrel. Hmm. I'll do two squirrels and just immediately play a wolf. And send for three with the wolf. And then maybe I can just like win next turn or something. I don't know, depending. I could, all right, let's see. I could get a bullfrog and kill the coyote. I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna kill the coyote with a bullfrog and then do three. That seems good. Okay, um, overkill is nice if we can do something with it. Great draw. Do I ever believe you? Uh, so they have three HP left, so I'll only do, I'll do two overkill with that. Yeah, that's all I can, that's the best I can do, I think. Okay. Nice. Um... Let's do this one. Moose. I mean, I do kind of want a moose, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but I should keep with one thing, so let's just get more of these. Oh, not more coyotes, give me a wolf, dang it. Uh, all right, we can make something better. Let's see. Stinky, stinky wolf incoming. <laughs> Stench wolf. Uh, etc. There is no plan right now. We're exploring the game for the first time. Uh, this is the one where they hide from me, so I can't hit them. <clears throat> Okay, what do you have? A coyote, but it's gonna hide from me. Submerge itself during its opponent's turn. Yeah, that one seems pretty nice. Um, okay, well, I'm just gonna deal damage then, I guess. Silly stoat. Hmm. I feel like I should just wait and have a stinky wolf come out next turn. What can I accomplish this turn? I could just do one damage. I can't block. No, I can block this? Attacks its owner while submerged. Opposing creatures attack its owner directly. No, okay, wait. So I could, but I don't want to really block. I don't know. Uh, still confused about what is a good first turn here. Um, I wonder what the dagger does. I just want my wolf. I wish I had a cat. I'm just gonna pass. Maybe die, I don't know, let's we'll see. Cause I think I just want the wolf? I don't know. I want the porcupine. Didn't know stuff. I can't attack. I can kill the sparrow. Will I die to the coyote and the porcupine though? I don't wanna die. I'm just gonna hit for three. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> uh, this is sketchy. Um, so sketchy. Don't know what the knife and the hook do, really. Um, Can at least block the sparrow with- Oh no, I can't block the sparrow. Uh oh. <laughs> I can't block the sparrow. Uh, well. We're evening each other out. Oh, he dies. Oh, I didn't die though. Mm, I wish you had died so I could play the coyote, TBH. Okay, I'm gonna sack this for that, and then I'll be able to block the sparrow. 
Um, and then I could play the coyote. I don't know if I want to send the coyote into the porcupine, though. I'm just going to gain two life or just do two damage, I guess. Oh, gosh. Okay, I think we're stabilized. Barely. Oh, I keep forgetting that I'm dying to the coyote. I keep forgetting I'm getting shit killed to the coyote. That was my bad. I forgot about that. Um... Yay, coyote. Well, we survived. Um, weapon thing or new cards? Let's get some new cards. I feel like we need some new cards. Worker ant. Yeah, okay. More wolves, though. Uh, I do like the raven, but... The raven is a 2-3 flyer, wolf's 3-2. Let's get another wolf. I'm hoping to get a flying wolf deck. <laughs> See how that turns out. Boulder. This is the five bones one, right? Oh, the cutting up one of your opponent's cards seems really nice. I like that one. Uh, Bretman, thank you so much for the sub. Okay, what do we got here? Coyote and a porcupine. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, moderately in need of stuff and things. Oh, my first turns are always terrible. I wish I, I gotta test the dagger out just to see what it does. It's gonna end up dying again to stupidity. Uh, attacking for one seems kind of useless, like, I don't know, but I'm at least generating more bones when these things all die. I don't know. Uh, but I think I have to get rid of the coyote. Can I take two damage? I hope I can take two damage. I can't fucking remember if I can take two. I hope I can. Didn't die. Am I at one HP? One, two, three, four. I think so. Um, just draw. Stoat. So three for three. They'll cancel each other out. But we gotta get something going here. Um, I don't really want to steal a card. I don't know what any of them. I know what this one does, but I don't want to use it yet. So let's attack for three. Then next turn we'll hope something happens. Um, I can play the stoat, but I don't want to attack into the porcupine. So I think I'm gonna go over here. <clears throat> Probably just gonna draw two squirrels and play another wolf. Right, the concede. But concede. I guess I should try the concede once, but I like how you can get a whole bunch of. Uh... Put the wolf on this side so it goes past the porcupines. I think I can get a whole bunch of stuff from this though if I just do it this way instead. Um, coyote won't do anything. I wonder if this is single use. To the user, to the user, you will place a weight on the scales. You will place a weight on the scales. Optimizing it so you do as much overkill as possible does make, I guess, like beginning stuff interesting. Is this a. We can get some cards. I literally never remember what this one is. Is this one. I never. I need to, like, remember what the actual symbols for all these things are. <laughs> Oh no, not the pelts. Shoot, which symbol was this? I didn't look. 
Uh, I should have looked at what it was. Oh, that's that. Oh my gosh. I just want to know what this symbol is. I thought this was completing the totem. Yeah, this is completing the totem, right? Wait, you can, oh, you can make second totems though? No, it's moose. See, I was hoping for, don't I already have this? I've got like two totem bottoms and this will turn it into like flying moose, but I don't have any moose. Oh man. I didn't realize that. Do I want flying moose? I'm gonna hold out for flying wolf. <laughs> oh, alright, I see. I see what this game is doing. I see what this game is doing. Oh my god. Oh. Smoke time. Alright. This is so bad. <laughs> this is so. I'm still full. Oh. I should have just, like, gotten more cards. I don't know. We're learning. Alright, uh, the coyote and the pack mule. And the smoke. Uh, the coyote is gonna come here. Let's have it kill the smoke. Um, and then we got a whole bunch of coyotes. You may as well just swing with the bullfrog. Start working on the pack mule, I guess. Oh, can you sack the smoke? I think you could sack the smoke, and I forgot again. Uh, how are we doing on bones? Pretty good. Wolf. Alright, so we can hit the coyote. And then we're definitely gonna just wait after that. Let's take out that coyote. Killing the pack mule would be good. We can do two damage to it there. And then, um... Maybe wait. Oh good, a rabbit pelt. Let's hit the pack mule too. And then let's try to take out the pack mule here. <laughs> Again, oh, I hate the stoke so much. Um, let's see. I could do a, I could get a wolf going. Uh, Cause the, or I could just wait a turn. Cause this coyote, this coyote is gonna finish that off though. Coyote's gonna kill my coyote, uh, which isn't great. I could just sack both, of but I'll, I'll hit for three this turn. Will that finish that off? I might finish that off. Uh, one, two, three. I think that means that'll finish that off if I've got that right. I can see that better. So in that case, if I'll just if I'll go to the next phase this turn, uh, how bad is that gonna be? <laughs> as long as I can still kill the pack mule next turn, maybe. Okay, let's try it. I think he'll die, and then we'll go to phase two, and then gold digging will happen. Um, but then maybe we can kill the pack mule next turn, or maybe we can't because I'm not gonna have enough stuff to sacrifice. Coyote will kill one though. I'm just gonna get stuff to sacrifice, I think. Because I need to kill that. Um, and I can't. I can at least. Stoke can start stotilating on it. How many bones do I have? Oh, I didn't pay attention. Oh well. Please kill the pack mule! Get him. Alright, we'll kill the pack mule next turn. Else is even in this deck. Oh, it's probably too many. Okay, um, let's see. We can kill that coyote, kill that, take two from the bloodhound, but that's probably fine. Uh, what does the bloodhound do again? When an opposing creature is placed opposite to. Wait, when an opposing creature is placed to an empty place. Oh, it will move to it. Gotcha. So it'll like guard it. Okay. Get all the cards from that. Yay. Hopefully not die here, but we should be able to kill that with a wolf, which um yeah probably sack the stoat. Or 
a wolf. Stinky wolf. Sure, let's uh, snack these guys for a stinky wolf. And then, can I play a coyote? Oh, I- That's fine. <laughs> it's fine. That's right. Uh, squirrel. Squirrel. More wolves coming in hot. But we're good here. Nice. If anything, I feel like at some point I'll get motivated enough to try to min-max the health to get as many pelts as possible or whatever, but... Alright, I'm feeling good about this run. Let's see, we can have an Ouroboros, which is just... <laughs> uh, whenever a card bearing the sigil perishes, a copy of it is created in your hand. I see. Uh, Gek. I wonder if the Gek does something. It feels like it has to. Oh, you can see what type they are. This is the little thing on them. These are like the serpents. Uh... <laughs> ah, shit. We got to do it. <coughs> Let's go. Also, how come I'm not getting my special card? Am I just... Where's my special card? I think I don't understand something about that special card. Uh, the air grew thick with moisture. All right, right, so we're in the wetlands. All right, let's go. Uh, Kingfisher. River otter. Bees. Um, ooh, these are the... Is the Kingfisher not just straight up better than the river otter? Uh, they're both 1-1s. One I feel like the Kingfisher is just better. Oh, I guess sometimes you want to attack the opponent's creature instead of flying for one damage, though, I guess. So... I'm probably just gonna sack him anyway. How about the beehive? Uh, yeah. I'm gonna have to look more into the bees. Uh, sure, let's just take the river water. I don't particularly want any of them. Uh, do you want to power something up or get some items? I think we're full on items, so let's power something up. Could give this to something else. Sure. <laughs> Do we want to have a. <coughs> <laughs> Lurking in the depths. Uh, something that. You want to do this to something that's going to die, I think. So, like, it's kind of annoying on the coyotes because the coyotes will die, or maybe the wolf as well would be useful. Let's put it on either coyote or the wolf. Um. Urayuli. Let's put on the wolf. <laughs> nice top deck. Oh gosh, I hate him. Um, worker and oh gosh, the ring. Oh, the ringworm is just. Oh, it doesn't have the special ability I saw on it before. There's an ant on the ant. I'm not okay with this. Um, the ant right now is a 1-2. Um, I think we just wait. And get out our wolf next turn. I miss having the cats so bad. I need. I think I should have prioritized getting more cards and trying to get some cats and stuff. Oh, it's a spider. I'm dumb. Eight-legged ant? It's fine. Um, I'll take two. Whatever. Oh shit! <laughs> I'll take one. I mean, okay, cool. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna. Is the mantis gonna be an issue? Definitely want to just kill ants so they don't overpower me. Which wolf is it? That's stench wolf, and that's dolphin wolf. Stench wolf sounds good. Let's drop some squirrels. Drop a stench wolf. Uh, I think I kill the ants just so they don't. I don't want the ants to get big. So let's just kill the ants. Oh god. 
The mantis might have been a mistake right there, though. Oh, shit. <laughs> um, I wish I could look at the board. Okay, I need to kill that mantis ASAP. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and drop the stove right there and just take out the mantis. <laughs> My wolf. I should have done the other wolf. Um, let's see. Got a wolf. A stoat. Um, I'll just make sure I can play the wolf. Oh god, the, the worker ants have two. Let's take one of them out. Uh, take that ant out. Not the mantis again. Uh, let's see what we get. Coyote, nice. Let's take out the ant with it. We like that. Top deck right there. It does do teal damage. I like that mantis. Mantis is pretty cool. Uh, not enough bones for that though. I like how the ringworm just has everything bunched up behind it. Whoa. <laughs> I don't know if I'm ever gonna be able to play that. <clears throat> All right, things are getting a little sus. I need some, I need something. Not bullfrogs. Ooh, I like wolf cubs. Its value is not readily apparent. Hmm. I wonder what the purpose of the ringworm is. Cause it costs it costs one to use, which sucks. I like the wolf cub. Let's do a wolf cub. But I really wish I had a cat or something I could sag. Uh, what's fungus? Find yourself among a grove of thick and pungent mushrooms. Mycologists performing an experiment. Uh, we will need two of the same creature. Oh god. Maybe it'll combine them into something. I can do two coyotes or two wolves. Um, my, well, my wolves each have special abilities on them. My coyotes don't, so I, since I don't know what this is going to do, I'm going to just try the coyote. Yay. Oh, it, oh, it double, it literally combines them. Whoa. I mean, that's pretty nice, a 4-2 coyote. All right, that's pretty cool. The wolf would have been nuts too, but I think this is good. I wonder if it would have kept both of their abilities. Uh, so this path is gonna have the harder fight, I guess. Okay. I need to stop. Oh my god, I have too many wolves. It honestly wouldn't be the worst idea to get rid of some of these wolves. Oh, uh, what's this? Okay, so it has fledgling. Uh, will grow into something more powerful. Oh shit, the rattler will grow into something more powerful. Okay, we gotta kill it then. Um, for one turn on the board. Do I even get a chance to kill it? Um... I hope this works the way I think it's gonna work. I assume it's going to. Oh, it's gonna hit me for three though, which sucks. Or I could sack the stoat into it. No, I don't want to sack the stoat because I gotta play my wolves. Um, I could hook it. <laughs> Still have the hook, I notice. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna pass the turn and see what happens with the massive assumption that I'm gonna be able to one-shot that next turn, which is actually kind of a problem because there's gonna be two. I'm gonna take two from the adders, which would kill me. Shit! All right, we're gonna have to do something else. I'm gonna have to use an item. I messed that up again. Dang it. Oh. Yeah, we're gonna probably have to use an item because I can sack a squirrel for, I can, I can even drop the stoat and kill the adder. But then I'm dying from these guys. So, um. Do I want a rattler? It doesn't say the cost on it. I think it's like six bones to play or something like that. I am going to just cut that card up. And. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is a stench wolf, and this is a dolphin wolf. I don't know. Stay away from the adders. Just try to kill it really fast here. 
before hell happens. I don't know what's gonna happen with the adders, and I'm scared. Very scared as to what's gonna happen with those. They all have death touch too, which is terrible. Um, I don't know. We might be fun here. I remember what's in my deck. Oh, wolf cub. All right. Oh, too much blood. Not enough stuff to sacrifice. I think we're dead. I don't know what the adders are gonna turn into, but it sounds bad. Elder adder, sick. <laughs> that was horrible. <laughs> Maybe I could have like. <clears throat> I don't even know, man. I think I had to just kill all of them and like sack everything into it with small creatures, and I don't even know. I don't even know what I could have done. That was bad. Uh, let's get more cards and hope for. Uh, we can make a combo wolf up there. Hope for like a cat or something. I don't know. Oh man, it's never too late to pivot to an ant deck. <laughs> oh man. Uh, let's do again. See, I thought this was good until I realized I have to pay the four bones every time, and now I'm like, it's not that unkillable. <laughs> Uh. Oh. oh man, I don't know. Oh, nothing seems good. <laughs> well, we can combine two wolves into a giga wolf. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Does it keep both abilities? I really hope it does. It does. Okay, but it... Yeah, whoa, no, that's just sick. Oh my gosh. Yo, let's draw that. <laughs> what if I just don't get any more cards in my deck and I just rely entirely on, like, two good creatures? Mm. Swimming stink wolf. Um, but yeah, I need some way to play the wolf earlier. I don't know. I'm so sad there's no cat in this deck. Like, how do I not just play Giggle Wolf on... I'm gonna get Rattlered for three. I don't know what I'm supposed to do about that. Is this useful? Card bank is still submerges up during its opponent's turn. So that does mean I can do one with the... I'm just gonna do this because I can sack the River Otter at least. And then kill the Rattler with it. Do one damage. And then it hides. And then I can use it to kill the Rattler. But I would also like a six damage Giga Wolf to just swing. F oh my god, are those two adders? <laughs> no, not the two adders. Oh, I can take two, but not that well. I don't know. No, not the rattlers and the adders. Oh, <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Um, I think I'm dead. I'm dead because this can't block this, can it? Uh, so that's a nice rattler. <laughs> oh, I can't. I can't hook it either. I don't know what this one does. Maybe I need to find out. Um. Uh, yeah, I don't I mean, I don't want a fucking adder, but do I want a beehive? Maybe the adder comes in handy. Oh, it puts it... It puts it on my thing! I thought I put it in my deck! Oh my god. Um... Oh, that's such a waste. <laughs> no! Uh, but I'm still dead! <laughs> no, wait, am I dead? Oh god. Oh, I didn't know what it did. I thought I was expecting it to clear this lane and then I was gonna play the wolf in this lane and then attack for six. That was how it went in my head, by the way. What does it do? Great, wonderful, beautiful, perfect. Couldn't have gone better. 
Can't see half the board. Who needs to see half the board? We got bees coming in. Wait, I wanted to sack the... No, I wanted to sack the adder. I really wish you could... I'm... All right. <laughs> Fucking whatever. I get bees. I got bees, it's fine. Oh my god. Sack the adder so I could attack for six. Um, all right, I don't know what's happening anymore. Hey, a sick 4-2 coyote. Uh, I wish I could sack something. <laughs> uh, bees. Well, having a six damage wolf is pretty nice. Oh, glad you like it, Botfly. Oh, oh, perhaps I'd like to replace one. Oh. Obviously the super powered eye. I now have a super powered eye. Wait, I want to go view the- hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to view this area with the super eye. <laughs> GG easy. <clears throat> Those are the ones that fit. So let's go! Stunted wolf. Take the film roll before he sees it. Now? What? Take the film roll before he sees it? Got it. Oh shit. What is that? These two are connected? But I don't know how to do anything. Ooh. Maybe these will appear if I find them or something? I don't know. Maybe it's just goop on it. Interesting. Does it show me the solution to this? Because <laughs> I, would, I would gladly accept that if it did. So how do we get something done with this one right here? I don't understand why this doesn't deal three damage. Oh, it's because this one's getting hit. But I can't not hit it. So this deals one damage from the one right here because I can block it. What? Just happened. Oh, it's the three right here. It's the three right here that's going through. This is the three damage going through. Why doesn't... So this thing gets hit here it loses its tail it goes to the right but why does changing this change where this moves oh does it kill it and stop it from triggering the tail because if this takes a damage see okay the problem that i had this whole time was assuming that the damage was dealt to the player that's actually why I haven't been attacking the porcupines. Because I, th I thought for some reason it says the striker and I was the striker, which doesn't make sense. Ring the card, it makes sense that it hits that. Uh, I do like that you can test all these things. I actually really like these puzzles, um, specifically because it teaches you the nuances of the combat and you can kind of just practice and have a little puzzle reward. That being said, we need the extra damage there for the five. There we go. And I thought I had all the totem heads together. The wood cover will offer this now. Oh, so all this was doing was adding these avail as available offerings. I think I just didn't read that the first time. Okay, okay, okay. Da, 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 da. So we can turn that on. I wonder if we will always have the dagger or now that I've used it, if it's gone. I still don't understand what turning this off does. Let's turn it off again. <laughs> the smoke. I do relish snuffing out uh, your excess candles before a boss. Perhaps you will now enjoy it as much as I do. Nice. Now we have smoke. Oh. <laughs> Got the teeth. This is like a point and click adventure game. Let's see if it... Is it always... No, it doesn't always go to the same place. So there's got to be a hint on this. Can I change how it rolls? Hmm. Feels like there would be a hint on this. Okay, I will come back to it. Maybe while it's 
<laughs> on a certain face, something else is accessible. Oh, you can use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out, by the way, which I have absolutely not been doing. Hmm. But I can't click on anything while in zoomed out mode. Okay. We solved this one. I don't, know. I don't know if I got an extra tooth, but I feel like maybe I did. Hmm, interesting. We solved that. Let's see if there's anything written in here now that we have the eye. Let's see if something's written in here. I'm just gonna flip through it and see if there's any green text. Cause oh, I was hoping maybe we could see through this stuff, but not yet. Okay, I want to go through this book a little more carefully at some point. Okay, nothing else in here. What if I click right on that glowing part of it? See, it's got a glowing part of it right there. It doesn't seem to do anything. It doesn't seem to open. It doesn't seem to close. Okay, wait, what is... What was that? Oh, it was saving, I see. Okay, I think we're done here, maybe? Can I snuff that candle out? No. I think we're done here. We've gotten all these opened. Tunic has been paranoid for instruction manuals. It kind of does. Oh my gosh. Okay. Hmm. So I don't know what to do here. Can't do anything with these candles. Okay. I don't know what to do with this yet, but I think we got everything else. Wait, is there a... Look at that spot on the floor. What is that spot? I can't look at it though. I think it's just where we stand. All right, let's keep going. Cool. Um, I can't tell what that one is. <coughs> my, br my brain, like the visual memory is just not there. Like I've gotten this one five times and I can't remember what it is. Um, let's remember, I guess. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the tra it's a trap. That's what it is. It's a trap. Literally and figuratively. One, two, three, point one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Do I have nine? Can I get this? Yo, golden pelt, let's go. Nice. Okay, it's a trap. That's what I gotta remember. That's a trap. And then this is just sacrifice? If I recall, should we just get rid of this freaking rabbit pelt? Um, let's see. Is there anything I really don't want? <laughs> oh man. Mm. <laughs> uh, classic stoat. Wait, what did I get instead? Oh, boss time. All right. Um, well, this is going to be rough. Right, the fish. The fish. The angler. Go fish. Right. Um, flying over the fish would be good if you can. I wonder if you can do that. Oh. Um... Doesn't have any fish yet? Or does the bait appear everywhere else? Can't really remember. Don't have any items. Oh boy, we're dead. Um, stunted wolf. I forget what happens. Let's see what happens here. Did in fact deal two damage. I thought this wasn't what happened. Maybe it's phase two. It's phase two that I was remembering. Oh. Is it gonna angle my... Is it gonna take my thing and use the angler thing on it? We're dead. I don't have enough of anything to do anything. Um, well, we could sack three turns and try to play this and pray, but it'll probably just die anyway. 
Uh, we can, can we block this with the rabbit pal? Are they flying? They're flying. Oh man. Um, well, <laughs> I can't even block them, right? What if I play the rabbit pelt and it anglers the rabbit pelt? Yeah, there we go, there we go. Nice. That's good. Yeah, it takes the mine now, go fish. Yeah. Um, problem though is that I just don't have the sacrifice to do anything. Uh, no! <laughs> Fucking double rabbit pelts. I guess I'll wait for the angler to try to angle again and then wait for it. But, we're gonna have to get something all stale. Come on, game! Alright, what happens if you try to take it when it's already- there's nothing else on that side of the board? Please don't fail. Okay, good. I'm glad it didn't fail. Nice hand, by the way. Oh, that's how it does. Okay, I mean, the pelts are nice for going fish. So, like, there is- we do have that going for us. Um, at some point we should just sack stuff to like get my big 4-2 coyote out. Um, let's see, if we... Well, we're gonna have to give the golden pelt away. I'll draw this for more sackage. Uh, definitely gonna play the golden pelt and we'll just keep all the pelts. Wait, if I put it here, it'll walk, it'll, like, move the bullfrog back, or this guy back. Right. Maybe that's good. Yeah, I should have been doing it like that, and then I could have moved his, I could have blocked his stuff, actually. Oh. That's actually smart. I could block his stuff with squirrels, even. Oh, shit. Okay. Um... Gonna, if I play, I just sack everything for that <laughs> in like two turns. If I just get more squirrels, I don't know if it's worth it. Interesting. This is very interesting. But for the time being. How badly do I want a bullfrog and or coyote? Yeah, I don't. I need to get more bones for the coyote. Okay, so now it won't attack me anymore. We like that. Um, I wonder if I should have just gotten squirrels. I don't know. Get that wolf cub coming in over here, and then uh, we'll let that one turn. Okay. Maybe should have left the pelts there. I'm not sure. All right. Um, hopefully it works on a squirrel. If it doesn't work on a squirrel, we're gonna be sad. But the play here is uh, get rid of that kingfisher and take my squirrel instead. Yo, it works. Let's go. Nice. That's cool. That's cool. <coughs> okay. Mm, can we drop the coyote? Just about. We can like sex. Let's just draw more cards. Oh, our sick. We got our 6 4 wolf though. Hell yeah. Okay. So this will go to phase 2 as is, and hopefully we'll be okay. I don't remember what happens here. I think I get baited and it's bad. <laughs> oh, fish, yeah. Hopefully. Oh man, so, oh, does it put out as many as you have creatures at the end? 
That's interesting. They can't block flying, so having a flyer there would be pretty nice. Mm. Honestly? What what do you what about what about if I sack my two wolves and play a big fat six wolf boom? <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> that was cool. I like that. I like that fight a lot. That fight is uh, is really really cool. I don't think I'm ever gonna play this with my current hand though. Sacking four for it. <clears throat> you struggled against angler so much. And the fact that you can give the angler squirrels is huge. I feel like my first day ever playing it. Okay, what do we got? Amalgam. 3-3 three, three for 2. Nice, a bit better than a wolf. Um, <laughs> I don't think I need more of those. The strange larva. I don't know what it grows into, but I don't need any more 2 Casica stuff, so I'm going to take this. I have enough 2 Casica stuff as it is. Uh, moving past the... Yeah, okay. So this is uh, the furthest we've... This is tied with the furthest area we've been into. I think we died to this boss, or maybe we didn't even make it to the boss because there were elk everywhere. Um, okay. Well, I don't have to decide where to go yet. I have no items, which kind of sucks. Trial of Wisdom. Oh, right. This is the trial. Have at least three sigils, five bones, six health. I do have a lot of health cards, so I think health is going to be the way to go. Like, if I get Ur Urali, then we just win immediately on health. I've got anything with a two is a good pull. The fours can save us even if we get a one. Even the golden pelt has three and the strange larva has three. <clears throat> so I think we go health. Hopefully we just draw our fatty. Oh, yeah. All right, there we go. Nice. <laughs> nice. Ooh, a magpie, a great white, or a mole. That's, what is the point of the waterborne mole? Oh my god. Um, a worthy sacrifice doesn't do anything, sadly, on the shark. A very deadly magpie. Whenever this damages another creature, that creature perishes. All of these are very expensive is the problem. And I don't have, dang. Don't, this is the whole point of it to block. Wait, <laughs> when an empty space would be struck, a card bearing this, what even happens? <laughs> what happened? doesn't this a troll like? Cause it'll be turned over and then it'll I wonder if it'll override it and still block or if it uh oh my god uh what's this one the magpie when a car oh you may search your deck for any card oh shit I don't think I realized that I think we go for the magpie for the search because at least it's a death touch card grabber it's okay but yeah I, I think I need more is this items? I could really use some items. This will sacrifice something into something else, right? Oh, no, this will sacrifice. I don't recall this one. No, that's the one that you sacrifice one and it powers up another. This one, hell if I know. I don't have any items. Let's get some items. Oh, that one seems really good. Yeah, I'm taking the turn skip. And then another turn skip. You can't use that? Nothing will happen. This bottle of goo has no use. Failure. I'm... I don't think... Uh, I don't think I have the cojones to get this yet, but I seriously feel like this has to do something. Nothing will happen. This bottle of goo has no use. Okay, I'm taking it. <laughs> bottle of goo any day. Freaking gold pelt. Is this elk hell? But that's a straight up moose buck just ready to fuck me. What? Yo, I can death touch it with the magpie though, maybe. Um, 
I think we death touch that shit with the magpie and just draw a squirrel. How does it say? When a card bearing this sigil damages another creature. That, okay, yeah, we death touch that shit. We just... I think I passed the turn double squirrel this shit. And then... Yeah, moose bucket next turn. All right. Oh, I don't like taking three for that, but all right. Um, double squirrel, magpie. We get to search a card. Um, <laughs> yo, I kind of want to know what the strange larva is gonna do. We could get that one rolling. Uh, let's see. But the two casting cost six four wolf is like really hard to turn down. I think we get that one. Okay. Oh, is it? Is this flying? <laughs> Fuck. Um, so we're sacking that and also dying. Um, will the moose hit? the magpie it'll just hit it and kill it oh that's so tragic I need the goo more than ever damn that's tragic uh, the mole is gonna block yeah the mole is gonna block the wolf stinky god that's tragic well the wolf can kill the moose with uh, well not actually <coughs> Tragic. Um, shit. That's a sad combo on the magpie. Uh, shit. <laughs> okay, maybe I, I can let the magpie die, but then there's moles everywhere. The moles are going to block my wolf for days, which kind of sucks. I think we're going to have to use one of the extra turns, but what's the right way to do this? I can't sack the golden pelt, I don't think. How do you know what you can sack and not? Is there something on the card? Maybe it's the heart? No, that has a heart. Eh. I don't know. Uh, all right. What's the right way to do this then? God, the stupid moose buck. If I could just deal six damage, it'd be great, but the wolf is not gonna be able to deal six damage. Or how does this work? Attacks its owner directly. Maybe it will be able to during its opponent's turn. So this turn it won't though. And it's if I skip the opponent's turn, it won't get that turn. So all I'm gonna be doing is attacking into moles. I wish I could get it out this turn. Cause okay, if I skip my turn and then I draw, uh, let's say a squirrel and I play the squirrel and I sack the magpie and everything for the wolf, I would basically have to take two turns cause even with one turn, we're only gonna deal I could put it here, and I'd have to take two turns though, but I don't know of any other way to win. Um, I can also see what I draw, but I don't think I'm gonna draw anything that's gonna super help me in this situation. Oh wait, but the magpie can block one turn, so if I just pass the turn, um, but, and then I can block with the pelt, but then I need to, I need to get stuff to, I don't know, I feel like I'm boned. I can survive one hit after two hits with the magpie. <clears throat> so that's at least something. Um, my thinking is I play the wolf here, don't take another turn though, and just block with the golden pelt. And it's at least something. <clears throat> But I think next turn it won't be able to block me. I hope I deal six damage. Oh. Will it? The mole will still be able to block me, won't it? Do I just keep chump blocking this thing with squirrels? I can... Let's see. Can I take one hit? No. Wait, don't I die in one hit? One, two, three. I could pop the other thing, but I'd really like not to. But it's going to be bad because the mole's going to block again. If I chump block that, then the elk comes out. Uh, <coughs> attacking literally will make the elk come out and attack. 
Oh, yay, yay. I would love to do this without taking an extra turn, but I don't, I just don't see how to do it. I just don't see how to do it. All right, we'll try to attack. Yeah, the mole does what I thought it did. Okay. Oh! Oh, thank frick I didn't die. Um, oh, right, I should have known that will happen. Okay, um, this is bad. <laughs> This is so bad. I think I have to just take an extra turn as much as I don't want to. Maybe I'll just, uh... Well, I could, I could draw a squirrel, play the squirrel here, kill the elk. There's nothing else coming. And then maybe I'll be okay after that. I don't understand the moving though. I... It's gonna, oh, it's gonna hit my wolf, isn't it? If I kill the elk this turn... Or will I kill the elk, or will I do six to it? I don't even know. I don't fucking know. What's gonna happen here? It is gonna kill the elk. No, stop building. Stop having more elks. Damn it! I can't kill the thing. I don't know how this is gonna work. It's sad. So sad. Um, Cause I won't kill the. Sadly, I'll do one damage too little, and I won't kill it. And then I don't know the order that uh, of operations here. Um. I don't know. I think I'm okay with chat telling me the order of operations here. What will trigger during the next turn? If I um, will the will the moose buck? Actually, let me read this. Maybe I can tell at the end of the turn. Okay, I get. I think I get it. I think I get it actually. So can you just confirm if this is what will happen? If let's say I attack and deal six to the moose buck and it goes down to one. Next turn, the elk will come down. Um, the elk will come down first. And then both will attack. The elk will deal two damage to me. And then the moose will deal two damage to my wolf. Is that correct? Uh, and sadly, that would kill me. <laughs> oh, I can drop a... Uh, I haven't drawn yet. Not quite. Oh, wolf is underwater. Right. The dive is, like, not helping me. Will it's dive? Will this? Yeah. The dive is like worse, actively worse right now. Uh. All right. I think I have to. Uh, I think I have to do that. Let's just draw a regular card. Oh, shit. <clears throat> Wait, that's good. Hold on, we're back in business. <clears throat> we're back in business. What a top deck. <laughs> um, so I can just put it over here and deal four damage and gain four life, and now we're not going to die anymore. Send it. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, thank Frick that it still did the one from Stench. If it hadn't, I would have died, and that would have been super salty. But I think it's GG, because I deal 10 damage to it. Or maybe not GG, but that should be a lot of damage. Um, I'm going to just drop a squirrel down, just in case something crazy happens. I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm dropping the squirrel just in case, and then sending it. It should just send for 10, I think. <clears throat> Oh, the moose is going to kill my coyote next turn, I just realized. Oops. Um, that's okay. Wait, it only has one HP. Hold on. Just throw an otter out and then kill it. Okay, there we go. Well, that was close. <laughs> I'm glad we did that without having to use the extra take a turn. Thank you, Slime Diva. Show me some exquisite pelts. Golden pelt! Golden pelt! Golden pelt! Um. Ah, yes. Corpse maggots. <laughs> what is this? Corpse eater. If a creature you own perishes, a card bearing this sigil in your hand automatically... Wait. A card bearing this sigil in your hand is automatically played in its place. Oh! <laughs> I mean, it's not very good, though, but... Okay. Um... Oh shit, that grizzly. <coughs> What's this one do? Warren, when a card bearing this is played, a rabbit is created in your hand. 
Can I sacrifice the rabbits in the rabbit hole, though? If I can, I might get this. This uh, is played a rabbit. It's not that useful, though. The Bloodhound always blocks Guardian. Hmm. I feel like I have too many high casting cost stuff and not enough stuff to actually cast with it, but I don't know how any of these cards help me with that. Maybe the maggots would be okay for that. If a creature that you own perishes by combat. A card banger such as I could place that in place. That's at least something, but... Hmm. I need to get some sort of... Oh, I don't know. Do I want more wolves? I wish I understood how this was useful. Maybe it's like, when this card is played, it just gives me one rabbit, right? If I could sacrifice... If I can sacrifice both the rabbit and the warren, there's like some value, but not a lot of value. Whenever it's played, whenever a card bearing this sigil is played, it just doesn't seem... I guess it blocks and then gives you a rabbit that you can sack, but it costs one. If this costs nothing, I would play, I would play that for nothing. Um, <clears throat> I'm like, do I get a grizzly, but I already have too much fat in my deck as it is? Maybe I'll just take some corpse maggots. <laughs> oh, I can get a second one. Do I have to? I think I have to. I'm tempted to take the warren just to get stuff out of my, just to sacrifice stuff. Assuming I can sack the warren too, I'm okay with it. If I can't sack the warren, then I'm sad. A golden pelt, what do we get? Oh my God, the mantis god, is that free? Is this one free also? Amoeba. <coughs> Sigils replaced with another sigil at random. Holy shit. Trifurcated. Holy crap. So it's a 1 1. Is it? Oh, it costs 1. It costs 1. It's not free. This is 2 bones and this is 1. I mean, I feel like we go in hot with the Mantis God. Um, when the card. Let's see. When a card bearing this sigil perishes, a copy. When a card bearing this sigil perishes, a copy of it is created in your hand. Because it costs two, I don't see a good value out of this, but there might be some like sacrifice creature thing that makes it really good later. Two, two for a three, three is good, but I think like I need an early drop. Um, I'm going Mantis God. Going for that hot Mantis God. Oh, I just realized, of course, you can sacrifice something which was coming up next, which I didn't think about at all, but if I had thought about that, what happens if I put... <laughs> Wait, I can sack the Mantis to put Trifurcated Strike on like that... The, the fucking wolf just swinging for 18. The two cast that cause wolf swinging for 18. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. I, I wonder what would happen like... I The troll in me wants to take Fledgling and put it on Mantis God. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like... I just don't know how the game works, but like, I wanna... <laughs> I wanna put, I wanna put Fledgling on the Mantis and get like, Ultra Mantis. Um, rabbit hole. <laughs> rabbit Mantis. Shit, I, I also, I like this as a one drop, just swinging for three. And I also like it as taking this and making a swinging for 18 wolf. But then my deck is very based on that wolf. <clears throat> I feel like spreading out my deck is probably good to some extent. Hmm. You have Demonic Tutor. This is true, Roro. I have Demonic Tutor. All right, let's make Crazy Wolf. Let's make just absolutely ridiculous wolf. Oh, it doesn't let me. It actually... Wait. Oh, it doesn't let me. We can make ridiculous corpse maggots. Well, we can still do it on the coyote, but... Uh, Darn, we can't make trifurcated. 
We can make trifurcated war and get out of here. I wonder if the wolf cub would work. Mm. I'm not doing it on the E. I know that this is like the meme, but I'll never play it. I don't have the mana to like, I don't have the sacrifices to play that. It's a massive meme though. Uh, okay, let's look at our other options then. Instead of the trifurcated strike. Um, can I, can I put fledgling on Mantis God? I can. <laughs> I mean, turn one, drop Mantis God, swing for three. Something, something, something. <laughs> what will it turn into? I don't know. <clears throat> also, how is this even a thing? I wonder what the corpse maggots turn into too. I need to figure out what this does. All right, I just need to know what this does. I want to know what it turns into. All right, let's go. This is cool. Those are like, I really like how you can create cool combos and things. Yeah, I need to know what this does. I hope it turn. Oh, I thought that was the mantis. Strange larva. Well, I guess we're gonna figure out what the strange larva does. Also, we're gonna get overwhelmed by elks again. We're gonna get overwhelmed by ravens that are stinky. Oh, that actually sucks. Stinky ravens. And then the elk is gonna go crazy and I'm not gonna know where it is. Good, all right, wonderful. Um, well, <laughs> can't block anything anyway. Well, I can block, I can block with the magpie eventually. That might come in clutch later. Let's stop the larva and see what happens. I don't know what this one even does. <clears throat> um, I'm gonna be hella sad if... So I'll probably put it across from the egg just so the elk doesn't fuck it up. Okay. Oh God, this is so sketchy. This is so sketchy. Oh no, we're dead. See, drawing this is really sad. It's honestly, I feel like I shouldn't have taken this with the deck I had. I don't have the, I don't have anything to t to deal with it. Also, I hate how this one. You think it's coming out and then it doesn't. We're dead. What do I ha do? I have any items? Um, I mean, what am I gonna draw? I don't. I don't have anything to do anything with. I'm gonna draw a squirrel so at least I can. Oh, I'm probably gonna have to. See what these are. Take an extra turn or something. This is sad. I don't know what else to do. I mean, these are going to both turn into two, two, three flyers next turn, I think, which is terrible. And then this is going to turn into something too next turn, which is terrible. So I think I have to take an extra turn. Magpie for the thing. I don't know. I don't want to, but... I don't know what else to do. Mothman. Uh, I'm gonna grab a squirrel and then probably grab my magpie. Magpie. Oh, I can't hit the elk, which is hilarious. Should I have done something else? Maybe. What does the mothman do? Oh, it flies. I guess we're just flying. Uh, I guess we're just doing a ton of flying. Wait, can I just win in that? T oh, because it's stinky. I just stinkied myself. No, I shouldn't have stinkied myself. But it's... <clears throat> I should have... I, di I didn't realize I was going to stinky myself. I accidentally stinkied. Um, I mean, I want this mantis god so bad. Just to see what it does. <laughs> but it's also going to... Those are all gonna turn, aren't they, next turn? I feel like I just screwed myself. Whoops. Um... What do I have in my hand? I wish I could check. I am yours. Uh... What if I just sack the magpie for... This? And then deal two extra damage and then we get out of here? <clears throat> I wish I could. I wish I could sack the magpie like for the coyote, if that makes sense. Uh, yeah. Oops, sorry, magpie. <laughs> oh god. All right, get out of there. 
Oh, those I was like searching my deck. Do I want another card? Or do I want a thing that I can't remember? I think this will give me a type of card, and this will give me a specific one. And then I can buff one up, or I can get some items before the fight there. I'm out of items, so this could be useful, but this... I feel like if I could get something to like get some mana gen, it'd be nice. Or some sacrifice gen, I don't know what we call it in this. Uh, let's do this, buff up our mantis god. <laughs> Uh, do we want oh we got a cat I think I take the cat I need the cat in my deck so bad I need like two cats in my deck to be honest enhance its power oh mantis god come on yo oh my gosh I think we enhance the mantis god and we just pray I feel like the triple bonus on that is gonna be so nice <clears throat> we could one shot turn one with that, right? We could just one shot turn one with that shit. Oh my god. Come on, Gigavantus. Come on, Gigavantus. Oh. Dang. Greetings. Oh, man. Well, we have Raven Hell happening. We can hit for two with the wolf or drop the strange larva and <clears throat> hope it survives. It should survive. Maybe we can try to kill the elk fawn next turn with the wolf <coughs> or the otter. All right, we're going moth strats again. We're going moth strats again. I know, I want turn one mantis so bad. Jeez. Okay, I think I draw a squirrel and I kill the elk fawn with the stunted wolf. I think that's the play. Just get rid of that before it turns horrible. Oh, are we dead? <laughs> oh, we're dead! No, I forgot. I forgot I can't block flag and they turn and attack in one turn. For some reason in my I had it in my head. I had it in my head that they um that they turn first and then they attack the next turn, not that they turn and then attack. I don't know what I could have done anyway to be honest. That didn't look good. The strange larva takes too long for that. Damn, we never got our mantis god. Oh, we're still going though. Uh some items might be nice. Do we want another buff? Some items can save me so hard, so let's get some items. Alright. Do we want... Do we want a moose? An ant? Or an insect? Is that an ant? Or a burb? I don't know if I want any of these cards, to be honest. I want utility. I guess it's my fault for coming here. I just wanted the item, <coughs> to be honest. Is this ant or bug? if there are any good bugs for me. I just want to see what this is. God, God damn it, dude. Oh. God damn it, dude. Squirrel. Flying. Oh, give me a squirrel. Is this far four bones? That could bail me out. The hoggy bank could bail me out. The fucking frozen opossum can suck it. All right, we've always died to this boss. Let's see what happens. Probably die again. If we get a turn one mantis, though, you never know what's going to happen. And we got to try to use our goo. <clears throat> right, the trapper. Oh, there's... That's right, there's traps everywhere. Is turn one mantis going to do anything for us here? Oh, we got a turn one warren. Good. And a strange larva that's going to die. I think flying... No, flying doesn't even help against these. Well, no turn one mantis for us. You hate to see it. Um, <laughs> we can turn one sick coyote, though. Alright, we can turn one coyote. We can drop the warren, play the rabbit, sack the rabbit for a strange larva. I don't fucking know. Let's go, I guess. Alright. We're gonna drop the coyote and start swinging down there. Um, do I wanna just pop the strange larva? Where is it not gonna die? It'll go here, but then it'll just die to the trap. <coughs> right, 
right? Because the trap will... The trap kills everything. Let's drop the squirrel. Sack the squirrel for the warren. Never doubt the fecundity of rabbits. Play the rabbit. Sack the rabbit for the strange larva, which will hopefully live long enough to go. I don't know. These are swung for four. That's something. Oh boy. All right. Let's see what we draw. Playable though, right? <laughs> I don't think playing it will help in this fight, but it is playable. It's technically playable with the squirrel, but. I don't think I want to. I wish this would give me more rabbits. For playing this barrel. I just want, if it somehow gave me more rabbits, that'd be great. Uh, if we attack, we'll kill the frog, uh, but then we'll die to the bullfrog. Then we'll get this guy coming out soon. Um, do I need to block this frog? I can't anyway. Uh, I'm still got plenty of health, so let's kill that. Oh, good, a trap happened instead. But my, I got a mothman out. All right, this is good. So, um, coyote's dead in the trap. Mothman is gonna. Mothman only has one HP. Holy shit! I don't think I realized that. He's like a block flying, so mothman won't do seven. Sadly. Um, let's just draw cards and see what happens. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> Oh, well, we're gonna get to play that. Can't play it yet, right? Yeah. All right. God, these traps are just hell, man. <laughs> Having big fatties doesn't do shit against this guy because he just kills all of them. Oh, man. Can I somehow sack enough of them to get a 7-7 seven, seven slamming down right there? I just, oh, I can, can't I? I can! Oh, your turn to draw? How do you even draw on yet? We could just get a squirrel. So I can just swing for seven right there with this guy. All right, fuck it. Let's do it. Ugh. All right, phase one. I'm excited for it to immediately have a trap. Just go some pelts. What does this guy do again? Is that seriously attacking me? Oh. Do I have to put... Wait, powerful guards will accept only the finest pelts of them. Do I have to use pelts to... for what you can the rest will stay and fight for me oh my gosh so at least oh i actually i didn't mean to actually just click that but here we go i accidentally just clicked on an elk um <coughs> what's this one do burrower when an empty space would be struck a card bearing the sigil will move to that so you want to have a whole bunch of extra pelts on you for this guy i understand now uh, when an empty space would be struck, a card bearing this sigil will move to that space and receive it instead. Well, um, my thought process was I could take, I could kill the grizz. Oh no, it is death. Um, we'll block an opposing creature. Oh, bearing the airborne signal. My plan was well. <clears throat> not planned but my plan after making that mistake was maybe i could take both of these and then just win in one shot down the down the center here but the problem is is that this one will block it i believe uh when an empty space we strike a card bearing this will move to it and receive the strike instead so sadly that plan won't work but i think maybe i take the four six grizzly and then we've at least got some hope there um do i get it Oh, I, I don't actually get it. It just gets rid of them. I was hoping that it would put it onto my side of the field immediately. It doesn't seem to be. It just goes into my hand, which is uh, less good. How many bones do I have? See, I, I wish it would let me see my bones right now. Um, well, I don't know how this works. Does it just go into my hand? And then... Uh, 
swing in my hand is not super helpful. Uh, it's really, it's really a shame I grabbed that elk because I wanted to get the big ones in the bag probably. Um, at least this will only hit me for four, and then maybe if I take this one, the plan is still good because then at least the grizzly, at least the grizzly and the moose bug will stay in the bag. It's not great though, because the great white will come in and attack before. Well, I just have to see if I get them or if I. I would have just. I get them in my hand, right? Yeah, it's not so good to have in my hand. Um. Do I have four? I have enough for a cockroach, so we can at least chump block some shit. Can I even block the great white? Airborne. Nope. <laughs> uh, I've got a squirrel. Let's draw. Yeah, over. Maybe not that. We can try the go. Um. So I can do free damage down this line right here. But all I've got is. Oh, bro, I have to cool something cool after one turn. I might do the L. I might do the. I might play the cockroach and the squirrel and drop down the elk right here. And then when I attack, I believe it'll block the Uraluli. And hopefully I won't die in one hit. Oh, the no, the great white would. No, 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 the shit. Um. Shit. Yeah. No. So the great white is gonna come down and ha and attack anything in this lane. For no, it's not. It's gonna just fly over before. This one's gonna move. Oh, no. <coughs> Move instruction in uh, at the end of the turn. A card back the sigil will move the direction of the sigil. Creatures in the way will be pushed in the same direction. And that's stinky. So that won't affect this because it's being pushed to the right, I think. So these guys, unless it pushes it off the board, I don't think that's how it works. We'll go this way. Reminder for anybody coming in: This is my first day ever playing this game. I never played it before. Don't anything about it. All spoilers in the Discord and backseating. Please just go somewhere else. Let's see. So. A thing I'm worried about is this is gonna attack here. It's gonna kill the rattler, but then the great white is gonna eat my butt down this lane. But I kind of don't want to unleash anything else on this lane. So it's gonna be shit. Could try the goo. Um. Maybe I just chump block. Oh no, I can't block it. Shit, I can't block it. Yeah, I'm gonna die from damage. I'm gonna take eight damage, which is not good. So, I forgot how the game works. I wish I could go back. I just realized now, the stuff in the back, I don't think would have come down immediately, but it might have. If I had just taken if I had just taken these two, would this have been able to attack for seven? And these are in the back still? I don't understand when the stuff in the bag comes down. So, um, yeah, that's sad. I just didn't know the game mechanic for that. I think I could have one shot this, but I didn't, I didn't know how that worked. Yeah, I just figured that if the, um, I guess I figured that if I removed one, the other one would take its place immediately. But it's not how it works, is it? It's only at the beginning of their turn that stuff goes down. So, I don't know, we might be boned now. I mean, we have two flyers that are gonna fly over for six and I can't, I, there's nothing I can do for that. Uh, I can see what the goo does. Let's try the goo. I wonder if you have to use the goo and then get up and use it in the actual... Gosh, that's crazy. I'm imagining you have to get up and walk around and grab it on the shelf or something like that. Hmm. All right, well, as far as trying not to die goes, the only one I can block is the coyote. So if I block the coyote, uh, then I also have to deal some damage over here, which sucks because anything I do for that is also just going to die, but I can't think of anywhere else, anything else to do for it. I almost feel like it's better to, uh, anything's going to, 
Oh no, it's gonna kill the coyote, but then it'll block the moose. Yeah. What happens if I attack here? I don't know the order of operations. If I attack this for one, I wonder if there's a chance that it will kill it before it goes through. I, I, we have to test that. We have to put something down that can kill that. I mean, even the fucking cockroach can kill that. Like, I could just plop this down and cockroach that thing. Uh, I also have a squirrel here, so the most I could do is a two casting cost, which is this one. And, uh, I could put it here, kill that, and then it'll survive a hit from the moose next turn. Um, put the, that thing... No, but then I'd have to sack all those. I don't know. I think I'm just dead unless this works in my favor, and this just... Unless this kills that and I deal seven and win. <laughs> it just depends on what order this triggers in. Does it hit first or does it trigger this first? I don't know the order. I may as well pop my squirrel if we're gonna lose anyway. Um, and... I'll just let the squirrel die to the coyote. Anything else I have? I don't know. Let the squirrel die to the coyote. This one's flying anyway. Let's go! <laughs> Order of operations. Let's go. Wow. I am surprised it works like that, but okay. <laughs> Wow. All right. Uh, perhaps one of these will entice you. So yeah, the ordering of where, when things resolve is slightly different than what I would have expected, but that's coming from mostly just playing magic. Um, I really want to back out and see if I can snag the, uh, <laughs> I already have a mantis God. Wait, the filthy feral hog. It becomes incense when its chimes are struck. Hello? Bellist, when a card bearing this is played, a chime is created on each a Oh. Oh, wow. So basically I play that and I get a chime on each side of it. Each empty, wait, each empty adjacent space. Does that mean that it would fill the whole arena? Potentially. Either that or I go for more turn one mantis gods and I could potentially combine my two mantis gods together into one. Both seem really good. Two mantis gods. <laughs> uh, okay, back out, back out, back out. Trapper and trader now bleeding into the snow. All right, great. The end is near. Yeah, this is our fourth run ever. Not bad, right? Need another map. I want to back out and see if I can get the potion. Where is it? Where's the potion? Potion's gotta be here somewhere. Where's the potion? Where's the potion? There's the potion! Keep sealed. Wait, maybe I should read this. Uh... I missed that text. I think I get a hold of that camera. Okay. Maybe if you defeated him, you would get a chance. Little something special. I'll use an opportunity to use it. I have seen challengers touch it. So obviously it keeps mentioning, but only if they are able to defeat him. Up your sleeve. Okay, this repeats it. So, okay, we clearly have to do something with the camera. Hmm. <coughs> yeah, I was like spamming to release him really fast. And I was like, wait, it's actually saying something important, is it? Okay. Um, I don't know how to get the camera, what to do with the camera, but all right. We have to take the camera, something, something, something. When you die, he takes a picture, something, something, something. 
Uh, we solved all those. We got that out of there. Um, yeah, we don't know what to do. Oh, does that, I can I get that every round? It's like an extra one of those. I don't know how to do the globe yet. I haven't figured that one out. Maybe there's like some specific spot you touch on it or maybe the pattern, like this looks like a hand. Maybe it means something. Um, keep sealed. How do I, I, I was thinking I could unseal it somehow, but I don't seem to be able to unseal it. Okay. Um, haven't figured out this yet. Oh, you're wondering about that painting. Wondering about that painting? I've seen stuff come out of it. Yeah, but only if the card, how do I change the cards? I don't see how to change the cards. I'm clicking every button imaginable right now. Bloodhound squirrel. You're getting those cards in your deck. Oh, you get a bloodhound and a squirrel. Oh, okay, okay. I was like, I know I've seen those cards. Wait, does this dude give me hints on everything? Uh, maybe not. I think we've got everything else, right? But let's, oh no, we don't know this yet. No hints here though. Can maybe this person help me read these? Let's try the things I can't read. I like how this is like, would you like to play an escape room for a while while you take a break from your card game? Very cool. Tardy battle with eight bones, holy crap. Grand furs on all your spaces. I don't know if I want that or not. Cause you could just... <clears throat> Hmm, those bones are really cool. Anyway, no, nothing here. Nothing here still. Why is this green? Okay, while I got this dude, while I have the magical goo, I just want to make doubly sure that there's nothing else that I might be able to find somewhere, but I think not. Oh yeah, we can activate that. I still don't know what that does to activate that. I haven't figured that one out yet. He won't tell me anything about the door. Okay. So we need to get a bloodhound and a squirrel in our deck. That just means a bloodhound, right? Mm. This one doesn't matter anymore. <coughs> All right, let's go. Um, do we want to sacrifice something to make something stronger? I don't know what this one is, I don't think, so I might do that one. Is this items? Items are very useful though. I do this one because I can't remember what it is. The trader's post was left abandoned. As a sign of respect for the strange woman, you took only what you could afford. What was, <laughs> okay. The eyes affix themselves, your eyes affix themselves on a small cavern. Wait, is this the cavern that we're like in? Uh, it's warm light, a beacon in the oppressive darkness of the night. Surely this cavern marked the end of your travails. Am I potentially moving? Yep, I am. Nice tree. Okay. Well, I'm gonna do the thing where I check every single space because the game is allowing me to and it's full of secrets, so I kinda wanna check every single space. Oh, good, hi. What was that? It's fine, we'll just ignore it. Oh, okay. I accept your offering of stick. Steps away from the strange cavern, you're presented with an opportunity. I don't offer my boons to just any traveler. All right, <clears throat> we get the trial of the swift. Oh, uh, uh oh, that's not gonna be easy. I'm most so you need to get some card with the waterborne sigil 
If you have a ring? <clears throat> I think I have a few cards with water. Oh, it doesn't let me see my deck this time. Pretty sure it let me see my... I think the Waterborne is the only one I have any hope of, but do I even have any of these? I don't have a... It's weird how I can pick that without having a ring. Also, I can't see anything. I'm fucking whatever. I can't... I don't think I'm going to pass this, but it was at least... Oh my god! <laughs> I don't know how lucky that was, but I think it was pretty lucky. One of my most powerful boons. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Boon of the magpie's eye. When you draw from your deck, you may choose any card. <laughs> turn one! Or turn two, I guess, uh, Mantis God. Boon of the bone lord, you start with eight bones. When you have a deck, you draw twice at the beginning of your turn. Holy shit. <clears throat> I feel like we do this and we just fucking spam Mantis Lords out of our absolute ass. Let's do this and just... I want that... Gosh darn Mantis Lord. We will repeat that once more? What? Trial of the Winged. I think I have a couple airborne. Fucking hell, I think I got rid of my pelts. I don't know what a rare card is. <coughs> if rare card counts any of my rares, I, like, I have two Mantis Gods and I have the other guy too. I don't remember how many flyers I have. I have a couple flyers, but... I feel that I'm gonna do rare in hopes that Mantis God and those other and the Ursula or whatever are rare. Damn, didn't get it. All right. That's okay. Like if rare counts any of the ones that you get at the end, I don't know if those are rare. All right. Oh hi. To get a boon. This may be a fair competition. Turn one, Mantis God. Turn one, Mantis God. Come on, chat. Turn one, Mantis God. Oh, gosh. Turn one, my buffed Mantis. My 2 1 Mantis God. Swing for six immediately. Oh, it went away. Trolled. Is it loading or is it just dark? Oh, okay. Loading. You took your time out there. Yeah, I did. And I'm itching for another game. You ready to play? What if I just take your camera instead, bucko? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh, smoke. Greater smoke. <laughs> what a nerd. Um. God, turn one, Mantis God. Let's, but it's not my good Mantis God. I have a better Mantis God. Alright. <laughs> also, the wolf might be better if I have... Oh, man, I don't have any items. If I just had one squirrel item, I think the turn one six four wolf would have been pretty sick, too. Uh, can I sack a greater smoke, though? Maybe I can. Wait, maybe we go... F I don't know if I can sack greater smoke or not. A lot depends on if I can sack it or not. Uh, okay. Oh, you gotta... This, they have a mole, anyway. They have a mole anyway, and an amalgam coming up. Um, yeah, greater smoke deals damage. How does this work exactly? When an empty space would be struck. <clears throat> now here's the question. It can only block one thing though. Ah, oh, but I don't have a way to play two things, do I? Unless I have bones? I don't have enough bones. Um, but the mantis god will hit three directions, which I don't know what that means, but. Okay, so it's a question of do I play the 6-4 wolf or just the mantis or the mantis god and the smoke and then I can swing with this 
Oh, this will give me bones, which will let me play a cockroach. Wait, there's got to be a sick way to do this, because I get the bones and play the cockroach. Which one will it go to? Hmm. I wonder if it'll block the better one. Okay, I have a plan. I have a plan. I'm going to try to play... I'm going to try to play the wolf here. And then I'm going to try to play the cockroach here. With the assumption that it will block my cockroach and not my wolf. But I don't know how the game works, so how am I supposed to fucking know? YOLO. Damn it! <laughs> Don't I get to draw any card from my deck? Let's get that, uh... Let's just sack the cockroach for the absolute nutty mantis god that's gonna turn into something even more nutty and then, like, swing for six and six. Nutty mantis god, let's go! Mm. <laughs> Giga mantis! Let's go! Hell yeah. Alright, let's see what bullshit happens though. Stump. You capably endured the onslaught of rare creatures, but the true challenge was forthcoming. Shadowy figures appeared before you, and their eyes glimmered a recognition of kinship. They would be. Oh, those are just two. I thought. I thought that phase two meant it was going to take all of my creatures. That's how I interpreted that as getting betrayed. Thank fuck that didn't happen. Also, hi, Reginald. <clears throat> oh, these are my... Yeah, okay. Hey, man. Elder Mantis God! Elder Mantis God! <clears throat> it's already gonna one-shot, right? Oh, shit. I need only one more bone for my sick-ass 4-2 coyote, too. I don't remember what's in my hand right now. <coughs> yeah, I don't remember what's in my hand right now, but let's just get this coyote ready to roll. Oh, shit, I have another mantis god, I forgot. Yeah, let's just draw, like, a squirrel next turn, and then... But, I mean, this is still gonna be pretty sick. Isn't it just gonna kill him? Damned moon. It's dramatic, yes. But it provides no value to my board. The camera, take it! Shit. <clears throat> the moon. <laughs> Omni strike. A card bank decision will strike from each opposing space that is occupied by a creature. Wait, well strike each opposing space that is occupied by a creature. It will strike directly if no creature is opposed. Wow, which one is it? It's fucking in the middle. How do I know? Title log. At the beginning of its owner's turn, a card bank decision will pull small creatures like squirrels into its orbit. So it takes my squirrels. I drawing a card right now? Can I just draw another mantis god and fucking go to town? Okay, what if I pull it into its at the beginning of its owner's turn? So my plan is to fucking win on this turn. <laughs> Play a squirrel. Sack for mantis god. And play a massive ass coyote and fucking send it bitches oh, okay it was only damn 22 damage oh weakening my moon what the stinky sigil weakening my moon with the stinky sigil what boots do not have a sense of smell but what is the sticky sigil? I think it reduces power. This is not how I imagined this battle going. 
Uh, I can draw any card from my deck, but like, what is that gonna even matter right now? What was that? Oh, I don't know. It's not like anything even matter. Okay, if something dies, I can auto play the corpse maggots. Maybe that's useful. If a creature that you own persists, we'll automatically take this spell. So let's take the corpse maggots just to have it auto come out if we need to. But like, dude, the stinky wolf. Creatures, <clears throat> it says creatures opposing this card lose one power. How come it's not playing any creatures? I don't know what's happening. Do I just, how come it's not playing any creatures? Oh, would this have a power right here? You really destroyed the moon. I suppose all that's left is to finish me off. Can't, where's that camera at? <coughs> where's that camera at? Go on. What is that? I wish I could, I want to like go look and see what that is because I can't quite tell what that, what was happening with that. Um, I don't think anything matters anymore, but I don't know. Does anything matter anymore? It's just, this is like some sans bullshit. Go ahead, finish me off. I don't trust, I don't trust this right now. I don't trust this. I'm trying to look and see if there's something else I can do because I don't trust shit right now. It'd be funny if I put out my own thing. <laughs> Defeat Leshy. Oh my. Did I just. I think I just beat him. <laughs> oh. What? I need the camera still, right? How do I get the camera? Oh, that's a nice five FPS. <laughs> Easiest game of my life. <laughs> oh, what? Wait, what the? What is happening? 400 minutes backwards, error. Hey there card gamers, I'm the Lucky Carter and this is another pack opening video. Today I am opening <laughs> Catch Monsters packs and digging what? for that epic shiny Transcend Dog! And here I'll add some crazy VFX with lightning bolts or something. Nice green screen okay, in the background. I am about to open my first pack. What is happening? Feeling good about this one. Feeling real good. Ooh, what do we got here? Okay, and our first rare is a Birchkin. Dang Not Birchkin. Not exactly a viable competitive card, but hey, it's a pretty one. All right. Mm, pack opening. Next pack. Feeling even better about this one. I gotta say, these cards are feeling extra silky today. I mean, they're so smooth. Not sure what they're doing down there at the uh, the card factory, but um, these are feeling good in my hands. Oh, cards do feel okay. good in your hands, though, right? Like, oh, I here. love just rifling some through some cards. Drink cards. Maybe a few additions to my draft cube. We'll see. Draft and cube. And our rare for this pack is... Transcend Dog. Dog. Oh, Bandog. Not exactly <laughs> riveting so far, but we have many packs to go. Next pack, here we come! I'll just cut out this part. Hey there, card gamers! I'm the Lucky Carter, and this is a vintage pack opening video. Today I'm opening a few super rare old packs I snagged at a garage sale. I've got four packs of Inscription. Oh, Inscription. You would not believe the deal I got on these. Now, not all of you will even remember this game. I'm barely old enough to have uh, seen these going around in my childhood, 
Uh, for whatever reason, they only did one set of these cards and then stopped printing them. Uh, this would be a fun a game to actually play in anymore, real life. But at the rate I got them for, there's not really much to lose. That being said, a Foil Mantis God goes for a couple hundred Foil bucks. Mantis God! Fingers crossed. <laughs> he knows! He knows! Really cool art on these. Definitely he knows. Time. My God. And our rare for this pack is Blue Mage. I haven't seen Blue Mage. Cool looking card, but not going to be worth very much. All right. Let's see what we got going on in the second pack. Huh. Uh, this pack has been opened and resealed. Hope no one snuck the rare out of it. They suck. Come on, people, honestly. Who opens and reseals a pack? Is this like a scam YouTube thing where yeah. it's like. There's oh, a set right. of coordinates on this card. Looks like they were drawn on with a pen. 49 degrees north, 123 degrees west. 49 degrees north, 100. Uh, I think. So I want to write that down. I have to check, but I think that's pretty nearby. Oh. <laughs> Is it going to be the dude goes to the cabin or whatever and then becomes Leshy just playing Inscription for all eternity? Or are you the one who get? I don't know. Anyway. <clears throat> Alright, here comes some Blair Witch Project shit. Alright, you guys. I'm out here living my best life. Got my trusty headlamp and shovel. Always come prepared, kids. Whew. Surely nothing will go wrong. Yeah. Okay. Let's kill it. Whew. Getting close. I think. Oh, I'm assuming there is a thing to get close to. This very well may be yes. a massive waste of... That's why you always bring an extra battery, boys and girls. Every time. You gotta come prepared. Got him. Okay. I wonder if this is like somewhere right outside the creator of this game's house. <laughs> Just imagining them filming All this. Right. This is it. Uh. And now, we dig. We dig. Um. I don't... I give a 75% chance it's a rock. Nice. But only one way to find out. Diggy diggy hole. We just wanted to play Minecraft. What the fuck? Is that? Oh my god, you guys. I can't believe it. Resealed, There's actually something here. Resealed card pack. Resealed earth hole. Oh wow, a floppy what? disk. What the fuck? Guys, are you seeing this? I'm uh What is this? A I'm a little confused. Yeah, the flap is open. I was gonna say the dirt is not gonna that's not gonna handle the dirt very well. Also, 
I wonder how many people watched that, like who were, I don't know, maybe under the age of 25 or something and had no idea what that was. <laughs> who even has a floppy disk drive? Right? Exactly. Cheaper than a foil steamboat, really. Cheaper than a foil steamboat, really. Right. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow, great video. <laughs> Oh, wait, wait, let me. <laughs> I love how, <coughs> I love how he's on like eBay or Amazon or something buying a floppy disk drive. That's amazing. Anyway, I'm glad that this exists. Oh shit. All right. Um Okay. Time to figure out what's on this thing. It's the game. Wow, great video. <clears throat> Meta. All right, that's how it all started. That's how it all started. Stop browsing footage. Yes. I do not celebrate often, and I seldom give gifts, but you challenger, you are worthy. Do not be polite. Dig in! Mm. Is there something wrong? Your prize awaits. It's a little floppy down there. Took the camera, got it, boom! Who gave you that? Got him! Got him! Got him! <coughs> I was waiting! I was ready! Oh shit, I can't see anything. Though. There's a moderate problem with that. There's a moderate problem with the plan. I can see nothing. I can't see anything. All right, what's an algorithm? What's a movement algorithm to go somewhere in the complete dark here to check every path? All I can see is something right here. Can I pan the camera up or down? No. Oh, I moved in closer here. Can't go that way. Can't go that way. Uh, should I turn my game brightness up or something? I can't see shit. Oh. I just can't see anything. <laughs> Wait, that was a different area. But where was it? Okay, I can't move. Once I'm going one square to the right of this thing and there's nothing there. So if I try going one square to the left of this thing, there is a path there, but there's no more path. So I can go one space once one space left, one space right. I can move closer to it. But then there's nowhere to go left or right. So if I go one stitch away from this, I can go to the left a little bit. If I turn around and go backwards here. 
I can't see shit anymore. Okay, now I'm right there. I can't. Can I push backwards? You can push backwards. That might be useful. Okay, I can't push forwards or backwards right here. Can I go one more space to the right now? So this is a dead end right here, but I can't see anything, so it's hard to know. I might just turn my brightness up. If I can. I didn't do shit. All that did was make it look bad. Maybe there's something right there? Oh my god, where is it? I can't see anything. That did not help. <clears throat> What do I do? There was a fight. Okay, here's the flame again. Oh. And I can go one space in or out from here. Is there something on the screen to click? <clears throat> what did I do? I can take one step to the left and to the right of the candle, and that doesn't help. <laughs> I can't take a step right here, and I can't take a step right there. So there's only four squares, I think. One, yeah, there's one square here, one square here, one square back the other way, and one square back. There's four squares that I can go on in this entire room, I think. Yeah, there's four squares. How, but what? <laughs> I could exit the game. This could be some bullshit where it's like Lamau just exit the game, but do I really want to do that? I can't find anything on the screen to click. Wait, did I see something for a second? No, I think I'm seeing things. I could go to the start screen, alter deck. That button in there. <laughs> Why is there an altered? All right. Well, I'm probably going to save and quit and see what happens because I got nothing right now. Are there any other keys that do anything? Right, I'm gonna push every single button on the fucking keyboard. One second. Okay. Don't push. Don't push Wazda. No buttons do anything on the whole screenshot take it screenshot take it <laughs> I figured it out Does spacebar do anything? Does control alt do anything? No. Alright, I'm at the point where I am going to either comb the entire screen for something to click or exit the game and try continuing from my save. Yeah, I could try Barb Saxy. That's a good idea. How is it not this? Okay, start screen. Wait, new game wasn't ever there before, was it? I think we only ever had continue. Beginning, the world did not know cards. Hey, this is the globe. Your own method of inscription. Fleshy. 
Wow, that camera to capture bees. Well, if I push buttons, that's what happens. Get three used a particle scanner uh, and Magnificus. Are there going to be more bosses and things now, maybe? The scribes. We only defeated one of the scribes. Yeah, we've replaced one of the scribes. But what about the other scribes? Choose a starting deck to mark your ambition. Mantis Lord. Oh, left or right, sure. Also, this is cute. Why are we suddenly cute? Thought you were trying to be all dark and spooky. Your ambition is to replace Grimora and become Scribe of the Dead. Your ambition is to replace Les Leshy. So that's the one we already did. Replace PO3 and become Scribe of Technology. Ooh. Magic deck. Well, I want Robo Deck. I want Robo Deck. Cards are added to your collection. Robo Deck. Why is this cute all of a sudden? Oh, it's the actual world map. There's a the little hand on the globe. That's cool. Uh, what? Hello. Just about to call it quits out here. Same, but now that there's a challenger, it's back to work. Should get this bridge fixed in. It's full disclosure, it'll take me exactly as, it lo as long as it takes you to defeat one of those scribes. <laughs> Amazing. God, that's funny. <laughs> RPG feels right there. So that's where we've started. Uh, that looks like the cabin, maybe? What's the rip? Rip. You're here. Marvelous. I am Grimoire. That was fast. Until quite recently, I was disgraced. Thought I was returned to my former glory with the help of unlikely friends. If you should test your skills against me, you first prove your wits. You must discern which tomb marks the final resting place of my lovely ghouls. What is happening right now? You found a piece of an epitaph. It reads, eaten by a hungry dog. Dang. Does not hold a grudge. Definitely not me. Uh, I could put them in, I could put them all in different places in here. Okay, we have, you sifted through the bones and found a card pack. Yeah, cards. Deathly card pack. <laughs> Oh, Skelemagus. Oh, we got a rare necromancer. When another creature you own dies, it is returned to life and dies again immediately. <coughs> I guess that gives you extra bones and if they have any come into play effects, they would work. Maybe we got a Frank and Stein. Grizzly. Oh, nice, I see the grizzly. Oh, it costs three bones for the necromancer. Nice, nice, nice. What? Cards were added to your collection. Hello, Skellington. Do not look upon me. Do not snarl or sniff. Is, let us, I, something's wrong. It's your deck. Your lack of a valid one. You've got 20 cards in it, right? Tab. Oh my gosh, I can actually build a deck now. What is happening right now? I got all these cards. Invalid, auto-complete, there we go, I have 20 cards in my deck now. Oh, but we can actually go through and, what is happening? Last save, okay. What does this do? Okay, it just goes here. So I can fight that dude. Give me one sec though. And let me see. 
I can't go further to the right. What's up here? Fission. Two equals three. <laughs> oh no, this feels more like this feels like another dang escape room. Uh, no. No fish, no pass. Okay, no fish, no pass. Good. Any secrets in the forest? Nope. <laughs> I think it still plays the walk animation even if you're not moving. It does. Chest. A card pack. Beastie card pack. Yeah, take the card. Oh, we got a Horacle. Provides an energy cell. What is an energy cell? Maybe we can use technology cards with that. Dagnabbit. That dang hound got herself lost again. If you think you're getting past, think again. Not like get some. All right, not like. All right, so I can't go through there until something, something find wolf. Oh, I just saw something slither off into the distance. I don't like that. Well, we have two and three. It's a potential code. Wait, is this the? Is this supposed to be the cabin? Like, yeah, these are the shelves. This is the thing, and that's Leshy. What? Stop shaking. The only thing you have to fear is your own inadequacy. Damn. Are you Leslie or are you that stoat? Whatever it's called. So this is the actual cabin. Uh, we share a desire for you to challenge me. But first... I know what you're thinking. No, this is not my legendary camera. Not the one I used to create beast cards. This one is a mere replica. I'm easy to create photo of the beast in these woods. My suborn is the prospect of the angler and the trapper. They each require a photo before they will consider battling you. Return to me when they're all defeated. What is happening in this game? This makes me realize how much I want to play a game, and I'm sure this exists somewhere. A game that is like cute pixel art that is just a deck building game. Like, I want this game, not the original game. I just want a game that is just that. That would be so great. Like a cute pixelated RPG where you just collect cards and make decks. There's gotta be some games like that. <clears throat> Pokemon is like that? Oh, okay, cool, I haven't played it. Money, you wish to trade? Don't have any pelts, damn it. I also accept foils. Uh, okay, no trading my Ouroboros yet. So confused. Um, two chest three. There's three of these. There's. What does this say? Two equals two divided two two chest. <laughs> what does it say? I wish I could zoom in. Too deep in the escape room right now. I'm like, there's one, two, three, four, five, six blood things. So it's two, six, three. <laughs> Too much escape room. No. <laughs> we can unlock those, but not yet. What was the original? Was it two, seven, three? Gosh, I can't remember what the no. What was? I can't. I wish I could remember what the original code was. <laughs> we got some stinky meat. All right. So was that a seven? That's a seven. That's a freaking seven. We're gonna uh, completely ignore the fact that I got to seven by counting the number of blood things and then being like, well, that could be a seventh one. But then there's also one there, so really it should have been eight, nine, 10. We're gonna completely ignore how I got to that answer. And we're just gonna say that I found that seven right there. <laughs> Two equals three. 
is two chest three. Uh, shit. Uh, somebody probably wanted meat. <coughs> okay, so we can't even go over there yet. Wait, who wanted meat? You want? I can smell that meat. Oh, put it in the bowl. Oh, all right. Put it in the bowl. There we go. Hello. Do I have to battle you in order to? I mean that. Or did I get a card? I got a, a hound card, maybe? And now you'll let me go over here? Well, I'll be darned, that's my girl. I'll let you past and wander. First, we got a battle! Oh shit, I wish I didn't have a... Oh, your deck ain't right. Okay, good. Thank goodness. Um, all right, chat. I think we're gonna leave this here. I guess we have to build a deck and start fighting and stuff. <clears throat> what a game What an actual game. I don't know what's happening anymore, but I like cards So we've got it's got that going for it. I like did I get the best ending the only ending? Is that just the like the intro to the game, but you think it's the whole game like <clears throat> I have no idea um, Handsome owl think of the five months underscore fishy day of the three months unmighty think of the 70 months. Thank you rustic bunny Thank you Jayhawks. Thank you 4k Fox. Thank you decided human uh, thank you, G Man. Thank you, Bot Fly. Thank you, Bretman. Thank you, DJ. Thank you, Muncherman. Thank you, Barb. Um, thank you, anybody I missed and anybody who's hanging out and having a good time and not backseating. Very much appreciated. Um, yeah, this is this is a really cool game. I'm glad we played it. I it reminded me how addicted I am to card related things. Um, I have no idea if that was a tutorial or if that could have easily taken me 20 or 30 tries to beat. If this is like post game content, if this is the actual game, I have no clue. <laughs> I don't know what's happen happening. Uh, no idea what's happening. Um, so we will play this again soon. I'm also going to start playing Ocarina of Time soon. I've never been past the Deku Tree in Ocarina of Time, so we're going to do that as well. Hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. I believe, I believe, every day's a good day when you paint. I believe, I believe.